Hello. Hello, everybody. I'm live. Let me get out of my email and back into my turn sound off on this computer. <laughs> hi, Barb. Um, hi, Nutter. Everybody, can you guys hear me? I'm, I'm on my phone today because I'm going to go camera down and show the jewelry. I did a poll on my uh, community page. And it looks like the, um, you know, can't, I, in, you know, say hello to everybody and then go camera down. You guys let me know if you can hear me okay on my phone here, I hope. It's a different setup again. Um, it's the same one I used to use. You can hear me? Okay. Yeah, so I'm going to just say hi and get until more people come in. Then I'll go camera down. I'm going to show the jewelry that way. I think it'll be easier. Hi, Kirsten. Hi, Yvonne. Did I miss anyone, DB? There's other people here. I don't think they... Becky, hi. Okay, good. Good. Yeah, I'm going to go camera get down again. Um, I, it's easy to show the jewelry that way. Um, hi, Gail and Emily. Teresa. Leo, is that my is that my grandson, Leo? <laughs> is that you, Leo? <laughs> I know he has a little YouTube channel he started. Leo reacts. I don't know. Hi, Jackie. Melissa. Yeah, thank you for coming. Jackie. I don't know if that's my grandson or not, but that's my grandson's name is Leo, and he started a little like YouTube. That may be him. He didn't answer me. But these are not, I got all the glasses from Warby, whatever that's called, and they're way too big for my head. I ordered mediums, and they're really big. So um, I'm just wearing a pair of the Foster Grant. They work. They're not as big as the other ones I have. These ones from the doctor, these are huge on my face. But hi, Mary Ray and Deb. All right, Veronica. We have 22 here and it's 802. This is a buy it now sale. I'm doing a um, buy it now. And you guys know how that goes. I give a price and um, if you want it, you save one. And hi, Lori. If you want it, you save one after I give the price. I'll give the measurements and everything. Am I echoing? I just, no. I don't know how it could be. I thought I heard. It may have been my daughter is in the living room playing a game. Um, it may have been her phone. I heard something coming off. But, um, yeah, with the buy it nows, I give the measurements, um, the details, and then I say a price, and then you say if you want it or not. Hi, Dawn. Hi. And um, it's the same thing. If anybody purchases 75 or over, I'll pay shipping. Um, but if you're in a different country, then I'll like Canada, or that's the only place I've ever shipped besides the United States. Um, I'll ask you to pay for half. If it goes over a pound, it may be somewhat a little bit of a charge for um, those within the United States, but it usually doesn't. That's a lot of jewelry over a pound. And most of them, all of my items here tonight, I picked out an array. I don't know if there's, there's like one thing over $50, I think. Um, but I have a variety um, of ne necklaces, bracelets, rings, earrings, and pins, brooches. But yeah, so you guys all know about the buy it now, so I'm sure you've all been to them. So I have 25 here. Um, I am going to go camera down. I'll do that in a minute here. Um, do I have any questions? I, I guess I should say if you're new here and you've never purchased from me, my email is scrolling along the bottom there. It's uh, vintagejewelrygalore at yahoo.com. Um, You'll just send me an email with your YouTube name, PayPal email address, and the country in which you live. That's all I need from you for that. Um, yeah, 75 or over is free shipping if under a pound, with, if a pound or under within the United States. Um, you know, half in Canada. I don't know if I have any other customers, potential customers outside of Canada. I mean, in another country besides Canada, but we'd have to figure that out case by case because... I've never done the shipping before, but let me put on these glasses. Let me wipe them first. Let's see who's here. So I'm back to the phone. I will be laptop if it sometimes. I may do camera up um, all the time again, especially if I have a lot of long necklaces. I think it's hard to show a long necklace on a table. Um, 
but Shirley, hi Shirley. I you may be a new sub. Welcome. If you've been here before, I'm sorry. <laughs> Get names mixed up occasionally. It takes me a little while. Um, once I know the name though, I don't forget. And I think I said hi, Becky, right? Who else is here? Does anybody have any questions? Thank you for coming, Kirsten. Everybody, thank you for coming. Not just one person, you know. But everybody who's here, thank you. Those if you're here that are not saying anything, thank you as well. <laughs> okay. I'm going to go camera down and start. Um, I did do a preview video, but I only showed a small portion of what I have. There are additional items in my list. And some of the items I showed on the thrift haul may not be showing up. Do I look tired? Do you need to answer that? All right, guys. I'm going down <laughs> to the table now. <laughs> the camera is not me. Oh, I did. I entered my stomach at the gym. I think I may have a miniature hernia if anybody really cares, right? Um, I have to get that checked out. I was doing leg presses and something started pulsing in my stomach like it had when I injured my stomach when I was cleaning under a bit. But anyways, hi, 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 Tonya. And um, Guadalupe, Lupe, I think, is that how you pronounce that? L-U-P-E, Lupe, it's a nickname, right? Life is hard, hello. Thank you, everybody. Anna is going to the table now. I wanted to show my face if anybody really wanted to see that, right? <laughs> no, I just think it's nice when you first start um, to at least um, show yourself. Thank you. I um, I have a big, furry, lovely jacket, like sweater on that I it can be worn in the springtime, and this little collar comes off. It's very it's chilly in the room I'm in for some reason. I, well... Probably because I have my stuff in front of the heater. I need to move it. <laughs> but it's not chilly, chilly. But I just wanted to wear it. It's nice and comfortable. All right, guys. Let me go down. Put my camera down there. And hi. Oh, hi, Kate. Hi, Kate. And then I'll get started. Oh, thank you. I didn't sleep last night. I don't. Well, I did. I sleep like two hour, two hour increments. And then I get an REM and then I'm up. And then fall back to sleep, get one REM in, and you know, because you every it's a 45 minute cycle. Not that anybody really cares about that, right? I, I learned about it in psychology a little bit, and I think about it because I'm hoping I get some REM so I don't snap and go crazy, guys. Hi, Irene. All right, guys, so let me pull the camera down and reverse this. It's going to be a close up of me. <laughs> um, try to block my my face. I, I know that's terrible. Um, okay, so I need to go to. I don't care. You guys don't care what I look like. Um, camera, and I'm going to go to the back camera again. All right, is that? Ah, there I see. You see my cup. Okay, I did it. In a little crack right there. I'm on a computer desk, and I have that there because there's a hole there that bothers me. I know it's just a computer desk, but I'm very, I don't know, it just annoys me. Let me start with necklaces. I have my laptop right here. It'll make it easy for me to see. I have Eva's artwork in the back. <laughs> She's an artist in my way. All right, I'm going to start off with the Chico's just because it's big and fabulous, I think. Fantastic there. Thumbs up, everyone. <laughs> You got paid today. It's a Monday, I guess, to everybody gets paid different days. All right, look, guys, this is pretty cool, don't you think? These are glass. This is a big Chico's. It's like it's gunmetal. At least, you know, the finish on it here. Um, a humongous lobster claw clasp and a big hang tag, too. It's a pretty nice Chico's, actually. Let me hang it on here. I already measured it and everything. Um... Can you see that well? It hasn't been long since I haven't done this, but there you go. There's the big Chico's. These all are glass um, rhinestones. Here's the back. You see the foil back there. They, I was surprised they were glass, honestly. 19 inches with a three inch extender. Do I need to go over to Rolls? Get hi, hi, Margaret. Everybody knows, right? It's a buy it now. I'm going to give the, and Barb offered to help me again, right, Barb, as long as you can, and you're allowed to bid if you say want, if you want something as well. 
Um, what am I saying? Oh, it's a buy it now. I give the details, say a price, and you say if you want it or not, just like in every other buy it now that we go to. But, um, oh, I thought you were calling me beautiful. <laughs> I'm joking. Um, beautiful ladies. There's a lot of beautiful ladies here. Okay, so this is a Chico's 19 inches with a 3-inch extender on it. The pendant is 3 inches itself. This measures 3. It's a big giant Chico's and it's in good shape. There's the back again if you want to see that. I mean, Chico's is Chico's. Um, Gina sold a really great Chico's. Just I think it was Chico's here. This is a nice one too though. I think I, I'll sell it for 28 if anybody wants it. Am I moving too fast? I don't even know if Barb said anything. Um, I need to learn how to enter it myself. Maybe I should do that. Um, anyways, guys, 19 inches with a three inch extender and it's 28 bucks. If anybody wants it, those are glass. And I'm going to get on my over like that. Can you guys see that? Thank you, Barb. Can you guys see that? Well, yeah, I'm probably too close. I have to get myself used to using the, um, I should grab my timer out. Hi, hi, Deb and um, Calypso Antiques Cat. Um, I'm going to grab a uh, my little timer so I don't move too fast like I always do with my child's toy over here. In the corner. I'll just turn it over and I'll just wait a minute to see if anybody wants it. The big fat Chico's. It has purple. That's like a yellow a grayish and or clear rhinestones as well. You can see it well. Okay. I do have ring lights all around me. Um, I always see it different than what on my phone and what it looks like over here, actually. Yeah, this these are little rhinestones. They are glass, but they're they're not precious stones. I know that look. They foiled in the back and the rhinestones. They are like cut like gemstones though, but they're rhinestones. All right, I think that was long enough. I don't see any interest in the Chico's. If anybody sees it later and you want the Chico's, you can email me or I'll bring it back at another time or something. <laughs> I I have a necklace from uh, Premier Design. It has coral on it that I in which is, I've never, I mean, I don't know a lot about their jewelry, but I actually have that with me. All right, I'm going to pass on it, I guess. I don't see any interest in the big giant Chico's. All right, so I'll pass on it and just lay it over to the side. I will do another necklace. I don't know what, but I have the, I don't know. I have, how many? All right, Jackie, you can let me know about that. Um, <laughs> I'll hold it for you. Um, I have, this is stone. Let me show this little thing. Not little, um, it's bigger. It's a, um, it's multiple stones. It's a 33 inch necklace. It has a barrel clasp on it. And there are different stones on it. There's citrine, rock crystal. I, I don't know what that is. There's amethyst some onyx, cornelian. There's differing, different stones on it. I feel like um, my presentation's not that great here. Um, I'm trying. <laughs> it's, it's another adjustment to get through. Um, all right, there we go. This is a 33 inch multiple, multiple different stones. Let me show it to you guys. I do have carnelian and isocitrine on it. There's like this one. I don't know what that is, but it is stone. I put them on a gem tester. And then the little balls on there, I'm assuming are gold tone. I wouldn't suspect those um, to be anything else. Um, but anyways, if anybody wants the, multi, uh, the 33 inch multiple stone necklace, I will do this for... Um, I'll do it for 26 if anybody wants it. I 
hell. Yeah, my really messed my stomach up. I got stuffed to leg press. Um, I didn't realize I had anything going on. Okay, so I said 26 on that. Thank you, Irene. I will, I will put it in the bag. Three? Do I, and I have something on hold? All right, I, Irene was in first. Is that correct, Barb, on your end too, DC? Um, I don't see anything coming up on this thing. It's okay. I don't need to. But on the, um, here I see Irene first for that, the stone. And then Tealy came in. That's mine. I have it on live chat. Um, Yeah, I'm in live chat. It's, um, it's on. Okay. Let me put it in a bag. I'll move on to something else. How's everybody? Well, I guess you guys can't talk back to me, so I won't ask how everybody is because I can't hear you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Hi, Judy. All right. Let me show. This is really cool, guys. Look at this big thing. I didn't even know this was a Liz Claiborne. It's definitely vintage, and I didn't really look up to see how old it was, but look at what it looks like. It's an LC back there and, like, scripts, like, handwritten. And, um, these are plastic, like, acrylic or something. <laughs> I'm not going to say what they are. Um, they're def that, that piece is plastic, though. Okay, acrylic, uh, I don't know, possibly lose sight. I, I'll just say acrylic to be safe because I don't know. There's a Nameline under there, and it's pretty nice, large brooch. It is Liz Claiborne, vintage Liz Claiborne. It's three and a half inches this way, and this way it's one and a half, right? Is it right? Yeah, it's huge. Um, we sell this one. Uh, The Liz Claiborne Vintage, don't know how old, <laughs> for $32. I think that's what I said, right? Yeah. It's a nice, very nice pin. The red's, like, lovely. It lights up. Hey, hold it back more. Is that good? Let me move my camera up so I can see what I'm doing. I, I'm down a little bit. Here's the back. It looks like it almost has some kind of plating on it. I, I it's gold tone. It's very big, actually. I didn't think it was Liz Claiborne. I didn't expect it to be. I mean, they have nice jewelry. I'm not saying they don't, but this is pretty nice. It has different colored red hair. Those are very dark, and then it has lighter. If you can see that. Yeah, acrylic and this is enameling hair. Rhinestones. See, it's pretty well made. It's like two separate pieces that are screwed together. All right, I don't see any interest. I'll, I'll, I'll give it like a couple more seconds because I know I tend to move extremely fast. And then I'll, I turn over to Sander. I've tried to find a minute one, but I haven't done that yet. This one's like 45 seconds. Yes, I, I hope you're feeling better too, Margaret. All right, we'll pass on this. I don't think anybody wants it. Maybe some other time. I think it's pretty I might throw it in my red collection. That's pretty nice. All right, I'll skip that. I'm gonna pull another pin up just for the K of it. Why not? Um, since I didn't sell that. So this is a 19, it's JJ1986 gold tone, really nice shape. Look at it. It's nice. It's marked JJ1986. It is the JJ that is um I can't enlarge on here. Let's see what it 
you know, JJ, I can't remember what it's called. I'm sorry, uh, their company, Joan Jett or something. No, not Joan Jett. <laughs> sorry, that was a band, right? Um, all right, anyway, so this is JJ1986 is what's on the back of it. It's two and three quarter inches. It's pretty nice. It's almost three inches. And I'll do the JJ for 28 if anybody's interested. I think it's pretty cool. I don't know which way you're supposed to wear it. I guess any way you want. Free form. Okay. It's pretty cool, I think. I was calling it just a shape. I don't know what it's supposed to be. I've, I've never seen one like this myself. Um, they have different types, but usually I find animals. It's gold tone, as you can see. Shree. Yeah, you can see a good picture. It's, it looks like my phone's shining off of it. All right, I'll turn my thing over and wait for that. Yeah, it kind of looks like a maze, huh? It's kind of, I think it's kind of, I think it's cool, actually. I should probably want a pillow or something instead of in my bit. I mean, I don't know if there's any difference on it. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's nice. It's a nice color of gold tone. It's in pretty good shape. I thought it was cool. There it is. I don't know what it's supposed to be. It does kind of look like a maze. All right, I'm going to pass on it in just a second here. I just want to stick it on a pillow because I should be using props, shouldn't I? All right, I'm going to pass on this. I think it's been long enough, right? I think so. I don't want to spend too much time holding it. All right, what can I show that somebody may like? All right, um, I'm going to go to another necklace. I have a lot of necklaces, so why not? I have this really cool Banana Republic necklace. It's a Banana Republic um, bib necklace. Like, it's nice and slinky. I feel like I should have it pulled up further. Um, all right, that's not going to justice. Anyways, it's Banana Republic. Let me get it on here. I'm going to reposition it, change the uh, where the link is just so I can hang it on the bus that I'm using the display. There it is. It's Banana Republic. Um, a brass finish, I'm going to call it. Um, it's 18 inches around the neck, and from here down is 6 inches. Let me take it off for a minute. Hi, Gina. Statement earrings. I may have some. I'll pull them out. But this is the Banana Republic, like, net type thing. Really slinky, whatever you want to call it. What do you call it? Oh, I didn't give a price on it yet either, did I? It is um, 18 inches around the neck. Like I said, we have a, there's a lobster claw back there. There's the hang tag. And... That is, um, I think it's nice. All right, I think I showed that good, right? Are they men or glass? Let me see. Hard to tell. One or the other. <laughs> Hold on. I can't tell. I'm sorry. I just, I could stick it on my, it's unplugged. I don't know. But, that's what it looks like. I have it pulled up a little further than what it would be because this bust is small. But if anybody's interested in it, I will sell it for 28 bucks. It's, um, I have it like stuck further. It's a little longer than what it looks. I think it's nice. 
you want it, Yvonne. It's a nice necklace. Sounds nice too, doesn't it? All right, thank you. I'm sorry. <laughs> thank you, Barb. All right, so you're going for 28. Just a banana repub. Let me see what I have in regards to um, earrings. I do have some here. Give me one second. I'm sorry. I'm a little slow today. The older I get, the slower I'm getting. Um, oh, wow. I thought I had one in here. Oh, something from the one for the Thursday or something. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Um, there. All right. Let me see. Earrings. Let me see what I have for earrings that somebody may like. Yes, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you, Yvonne. Okay. Um, earring wise, I have I have a cool, cool. Well, these are frogs. You want it? What kind of what is a statement earring? Do you say dangle or statement? I have I have these. These are really nice. Let me show you these pretty little things. I think they're nice. Uh, these are red glass. Hi, Tisha. Um, these ones here, I'm going to stick them on this furry, velvety thing. Hopefully it works. They're gold tone. Oh, I have these. Are they big enough? These are, those are glass and there's a shape under there of some sort swirled in there. They're really nice earrings. These look like from, I don't know if these are bold enough for you. Are these bold enough? <clears throat> they're glass. They're pretty nice. Um, gold tone in their post. Anyways, these ones are, um, they don't have a name on them. They're gold tone. That is glass, like I said. And they measure one and one quarter inch bold. Okay, well, these are gold tone. I don't know how bold I'll have. I'll have to see if I have anything bold enough in here. If not, maybe I'll dig later. But anyways, if anybody likes these, these are gold tone post um one and one quarter inch and that's glass and if you can see there is a like a swirly design swirl through the glass these are really pretty actually these are a nice pair of earrings i would sell these for 15 if anybody wanted them i think they're nice there's i just got these little furry things what do you think about them i like it i can keep my hand out of the camera um let me show you the back of them. Yes, thank you. There's the back. I don't see like any. Um, 15 bucks for these. They're lovely. They almost look like poured glass, but we're not going to call them that. I can't call everything poured glass. It looks like it. And I know that. <laughs> and they don't have a mark on them or anything. I don't see a maker on them. But they're glass. I don't. They're just a cabochon like... Um, that's what we'll call them. Yeah, I like the earring display. It's good to keep my hands out of the um, camera. I like it. But yeah, 15 bucks if anybody likes these little things. They're really pretty. I'll turn this thing over and we'll wait a minute. Yeah, the earring holder is nice. I think it was a three pack for like $6.99 or $9.99. Not bad price. Yeah, I like it better this level myself. Um, I like to be camera up a little bit, too. I do like to show my face occasionally, not just to say hello to people and stuff. You know what I mean, I think people should know what the person they're subscribed to and buying off of looks like, don't you think? So, no, I don't think anyone wants these little lovelies. These, I am going to put these in my collection. Um, and I can wear them. If I don't affect my ears. Um, they're not gold. I don't I didn't check the post. I'm thinking it's just a base type of metal. But okay, I'm gonna pass on these earrings. I I don't know where to go. <laughs> I don't think I have any huge, huge um earrings. N Carmen Nutter, that is. Um I don't. Not in front of me. I may in my earring case, but what about this? How about these little things? Anybody like these little frogs? Look how cute these are. They're on a lily pad. Do you see that? Do 
Did you have jewelry from last Monday? Okay, I, I have stuff for you, Irene, so probably, and I know you pay, I got the payment, but I don't know if I had it shipment. I don't worry, I'll look. I do have you a bag. I, I will add it to that. Yes, and you want me to ship after this. All right. Yeah, I'll show you, Bryce. I do have a couple fantastic, and roof. the square pin with amethyst. I don't know if it's really amethyst. Um, I think it's glass, but it looks like amethyst, doesn't it? Okay, nobody wants the frogs, and nobody even wants to hear about the frogs. Are these not good? <laughs> Let me write a note, Irene, because by the end of the night, God knows where my mind will be. Um, I'll put a note here. I know I have a, um, a bag, and I, you're, I was holding it to save me on shipping. Um after today okay um should i should i not does anybody like the frogs or, or are these frogs just a waste of time aren't they adorable or is it just me look how cute i do love frogs look at their little they have little okay i'm gonna pass on the frogs we are a bunch of grown women but i'm a little immature guys um mentally <laughs> and i love the frogs Somebody wanted this bracelets, and then I have this bracelet. This is a lovely, lovely. I'll do this bracelet real quick, and then. Hi, Stephen. What, did you like it? Yeah, I know. They're children's earrings. I'm sorry. I'm a little immature. All right. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, Irene. This is lovely. Look, I believe this is leather. It feels like it, but I do not see a marking on it. Okay. It's a bracelet, of course. That that's glass. These look like these are crystals or glass. You have black and white. That's a black glass piece, and then I don't know, crystals or rhinestones. I can't really say honestly. They they are pretty. These ones are very bright. But well, if you like the frogs, they they're. I just don't know if anybody would really wear them. I'm showing something for a child at my auction. Can't help myself, guys. Yeah, thank you. Yes, give me a thumbs up. I appreciate it. Okay, this I'm. This is leather and crystal. Seven and a. Wait a minute, am I wrong? Oh, I didn't write the full measurements though. All right, six and a half. Let me measure it. I want to make sure I'm telling you the right thing. Bigger is always better. Um, let me measure it for you. You have to go, you know, you figure it has to start where that hole is because you have to be able to put it through the loop. Hi, Marzana. Let me tell you guys what it is. Um, measuring, I have to start from the first hole there. It goes up to seven and a half inches, but you could wear it at like uh, six and a quarter to seven and a half, guys, on this. It's very nice on, look. I'm in an awkward position here. It's pretty. I think it's very lovely. Oh, I guess I should give a price on it. Um, one second. Oh, 32 bucks if anybody wants it. It's very nice. And I can put it on a white pillow and it'll look good on there. Give me a second. I do have a white pillow. Cindy. Oh, hi, Cindy. Yeah. That's fun surprises for anybody that doesn't know. Yes. Yeah, buy it now. Not starting bid. Did I say starting bid? There it is. It's nice. I think it is. If nobody buys it, I probably will wear this. I think it's pretty. It buckles, obviously. Um, I have it on the biggest. God, I'm hot. It's starting to get warm with this sweater on. I felt chilly. The heat must have kicked on. Or the lights are starting to heat me up. I'm going to turn this little thing over and I'll just wait that long. My measure. Like, I'm using my... My child's toy there, guys. 
I figure it's close to a minute. I mean, I, I wait for like 30 seconds before I do it. Then it's over a minute. All right, it's on this stop. Hi, DeFleur. All right, now I'm going to pass on it. I don't see anybody wanting the lovely thing. I mean, I think it's lovely. It's my taste. Theory. Am I smeary, guys? Like, why does my camera look so fuzzy there? Um, does that look okay to you guys? All right. I, it looks okay, right? You guys would tell me if it was blurry. I know that. I wouldn't hesitate. Um, <laughs> yeah, we all let each other know. I don't know what to go with. I have this little, right, this little... Um, turquoise thing here necklace it's a three strand turquoise necklace triple strand turquoise 16 inches with a two inch extender let me get it it's marked 925 up here um it looks good okay it just looks smeary to me maybe my glasses need clean anyways this is it I have it twisted. It doesn't have to be. There's the findings on the back. All right. It's like different colors on her a little bit anyways, but, um, I don't know. All right. If anybody is interested in that, um, 16 inches with a two inch extender, I'll sell it for 34 for this. If anybody wants it. And I should hang it back on the neck, I guess. So there's that on the neck. Good God, I'm hot. Yeah, it says 925 on it. I'm, I'm not going to take this off, though, because I will probably be <laughs> showing my face at the end of the night. All right. It's hot. Mm. My email looks blurry to you. You know my email, right? Oh, somebody said they wanted this. Oh, Lori. Hi, Lori. Thank you. I know I, ha I have something can combine the shipping on that. Um, thank you. I, I'm i glad you're helping me because I, I didn't even see that. Some people do exceptionally well on their own. And I mean, I could, I guess, if I tried, but <laughs> it's hard. Just, thank you. Let me find that. All right, somebody else had asked me. A, well, I showed the bracelet and, and nobody wanted that. Um, oh, yeah, you have the Pandora. And I, 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 like you did shipping and everything already, I think, right? Yeah, I think so. I just have to add that. Okay. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, do I have any requests? I mean, I, I do have stuff here. Hopefully something you guys would like. I try. I try. Someone cry. I have a nice Monet necklace. I think it's nice. Let me show it to you. It's not a big fantastical one or anything. I mean, it's pretty nice. Here's the tag. Wait, what is that? All right, it's Monet. You guys know there's their signature clasp. This is 80s probably, right? It is a... Um, not a huge huge one but it's fairly nice this monet is 36 inches and it's pretty nice you have these um those like they have uh a texture to them and then this link what is that is that a cuban link guys or what's that called girls guys there's more okay anyways 36 inches and no fading whatsoever on it and this is a 1980s monet so for the Monet, 36 inches, I will charge a dollar an inch. <laughs> and what would that be? No, I'm joking. 36 <laughs> 36 bucks for the nice, nice, I think it's a nice Monet. You have four of these going around on it. Um, it's very, it's untarnished. Uh, it looks brand new.
the triples, like going around it four times, these triple like hoops. I have it doubled up. It is 36 inches. And there it is. Yeah, that was a quick math question. Um, I don't know. The clasp on it was, I don't know the exact date, maybe late 70s. Or maybe, is it, no, nah, Monet, copyright before Monet, all caps. Um, it could be late 70s, but with that mark, hallmark, I don't think it's any older than that. Um, but it's nice and it's in great shape and it's completely clean. Like, you know what I mean by that? It's unfaded. It's unscratched. It looks like somebody left it laying in their box for 40 years. Serpentine, curb chain. Okay. Yeah, I'm not good at the chains either. I'm trying. <laughs> That's not Cuban link. I have, um, you need to, um, Okay. All right, so nobody wants it for 36. Am I too high on that, guys? I'll bring it back another time. I don't have any soap pot. I know. I, um, no. No, I need to, I, not at all. If I did, I wouldn't know it. <laughs> I'm joking. Um, <laughs> I probably wouldn't. I'm not joking. I mean, if it's unmarked, it has a marking on it. Mm -mm. Okay, Cuban. All right, so we'll pass. Nobody's interested in this one. Let me get rid of it. I honestly don't even know what Sopata's homework, like, maker's mark looks like. All right, I don't know. I don't know what to do. I'm going to I'm gonna offer a little ring. See if anybody maybe wants this. It's a small size. This is a size 5, like, right out of 5. It's this. This is sterling and turquoise. It's unmarked. And it's vintage, I think. Yeah, you'll have maybe send me what it looks like. I don't, I'll look it up online. But no, I don't have any of that. I know I don't for certain. Unless I showed something you think was that. All right, turquoise and sterling, unmarked. It's a size 5. It's a small ring. Um, for a small finger. And I don't know. It looks Navajo to me. What do you think, guys? Gina, want to chime in on that if you're here? Um, no, I'm not going to keep it. Oh, I didn't find my ring, but it's probably in my car. Um, yeah, it's a nice, it's a nice little ring. I, I, I mean, I'm not an expert, but it, it I don't know. It's just a quality ring. There, see. Yeah, I'll have to look at it. I, I don't know. I've never, I don't know if I've really ever seen some pot. I've heard of it. Hi, Christina. All right, size five. If anybody wants it, um, no, I'm not going to keep it. I, I don't need it. It's only a ring. It looks cool, though. It looks like, uh, it looks like water with like, uh, like what the world looks like from far away. That's what the turquoise looks like. Hi, girly gamer. Okay, um, this is a nice ring, guys, and I, it's a size five, though, it's very small, but look at the turquoise on it. Anyways, I, th I believe from my meager experience, this looks like, it looks vintage. All right, um, I'll sell it for 75 bucks if anybody wants it, how's that? <laughs> bad enough they would pay it hey I, I think it's worth that um i think i forget what it weighs but it does have a piece of turquoise in it so giving a weight in with something with a stone in it i don't really think is accurate in itself but it weighs six grams it has a stone in it though as well it's nice though can you see the turquoise well i feel like my camera looks blurry let me move this a little bit to the light more. There we go. I'm probably high on that, guys. Um, sorry. It's pretty. It's a nice ring. It's a quality ring. And, um, 
I don't know. I'm not an expert, but it looks like Navajo to me. So. Yeah, I don't wear a lot of jewelry um, at a time myself. I, I wear very, I mean, I do wear it. But like today, I have a sterling bracelet on and I have a ring. That's it. I don't wear a lot at one time. I do love jewelry, though. Okay, I don't think anyone's going to buy it that's going to keep it. <laughs> Again, I figured to offer it because I don't have a lot of rings to offer. They're hard, but I'll pass on that. I'll keep that. I may as well keep it for myself. All right, let me see what else I have that somebody might want. Um, is the bone and stone lady here? The bone and stone lady. Yeah, I don't like a lot of rings on my fingers. They're uncomfortable. I don't know. I just, I like, like, and I never wear a ring on that because I'm not married. And I don't even have a boyfriend. It's pathetic. It's not us, right? Um. All right, I'll, I'll keep an eye out for it. Gina sold a fantastic one. I have this Chico, so you probably saw this, right? I mean, it's, I don't know if it's that type of thing you're looking for. I did show that. Gina sold hers, I think, though. I could ask her. Maybe she did. She had a really, really cool one like I'd never seen before. Seriously. Um, This is, um, this is Crown Trafari, guys. Look at it. I've never seen Crown Trafari like that before, but it is. It's a necklace, obviously. Um, it has rhinestone uh, rings on there. And this looks like crystal to me. All right, I got to stop reading your comments, guys, because I'm supposed to be. All right, you, you saw Gina's? Did, did she sell that? You saw this one, you mean? I think hers might have sold, actually. I don't know if it didn't. I don't know why it wouldn't have if I would have the money on the bottom. It was humongous. And it was really cool. But, okay, um, this is a <laughs> Crown Trafari necklace. Um, it's double-stranded, as you can see, and crystals. Or glass with some AB shine on it. I, I don't know. I can't really say. I, I'm not an expert on that either. But there's the marking. It says Trafari. It's a lobster claw clasp. And that measures. Um, it's 16 inches with the two and one half inch extender. Yeah. It, why does it have a crown on it if it's newer? I thought they stopped making it. Oh, there's somebody on my page. This is just one of those simple, like, nothing ones. Um, yeah, um, well, it's newer because it has a lobster claw uh, on it. I would say it is. Yeah, I don't understand, but it is. Somebody, I, I got rid of them. Somebody, I, I asked a question about it, and they're like, yeah, it's Trafari. I it's newer, I guess, then. Okay, I think it's still cool. Did I give the measurements on it? I mean, not that there's anything wrong with newer Trafari. Don't get me wrong. <clears throat> okay, I will sell it for 28 bucks if anybody wants it. It's a pretty necklace. It's double strand. And that's the length on the shortest one um, that what I'd given. Let me lower this. There we go. Yeah, crystals. Okay, that's what I thought. I, I just, you know, sometimes it's hard to tell when they put a coating on it. They can put it on um, glass as well. It looks like crystals to me. But, well, these ones definitely do, you know. But these ones, questionable, could be glass with a coating over it to me. But the blue definitely look crystal. And hi, T. Marie. I didn't say hi to you, I don't think. I think you just got here. But yeah, 28 bucks if anybody wants that thing. That one. It's pretty. All right. Hi, Misty. How are you doing? I haven't seen you in a little while. I'll be stopping back at some point soon. Okay, thank you. Yeah, I, I it's one type of jewelry I... I haven't sourced. I need to start getting more on the internet, I think. Yeah, I think it's a mix of glass and crystal on it. All right, I don't see... I, well, I'm rushing rather quickly, right? It hasn't been that quick, right? <laughs> I'll wait. I turn over my sand timer, guys. Here, look. I showed it to you. It's funny. Chico's owl. 
When did I show that, Bailey? Can you remember? I can't remember. I'm sorry. Um, the Chico's out. Oh, oh um, yeah, I'll, I'll pull it out at some point. I can't. I have to find it. All right, I'm going to pass on this Trafari. All right, guys. Yeah, it has a crown, but it's probably not crown Trafari. I think you're right on that one. All right. Um, 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 um. All right, I'm going to pull out another necklace. Um, this is Austrian. It's signed Aust uh, Austrian crystal. It's black. It's pretty. There's the clasp on it. And it's hard to, there, it says it right there. It says, um. Oh, I don't know what kind she was looking for. She might want something big and fantastic. If I come across one, I'll let you know. Um, okay, so this these are crystals. It's signed Austrian crystal, and I have it doubled up there. It's pretty. Um, it's a 35-inch necklace on this. They're pretty. It's a pretty necklace, gold tone, and... It's double sided. I feel like it's so blurry when I get close to it. Um okay, so on the Austrian crystal, um black crystal necklace. I'll charge 30 for this if anybody wants it. It's a nice necklace. And it's 35 inches. Bailey, you'll take that. It's it's a nice necklace. It'll be really pretty to layer. Yes, thank you, Barb, for typing. Okay, I'll put that I'll put that in your bag. Um, <clears throat> it's a nice necklace. It's well worth that. Actually, it's quality. Um, I I don't have any amber. No, I probably do if I dig further. Um. Oh, yeah, maybe I should pull out my boxes. Um, hold on a minute. <laughs> All right, so I sold that for 30 the Austrian crystal. Yes, congratulations. It, it is nice you you're like that. Um, I won't sell my heart, Amber. I don't care how desperate I get, guys. I will not. <laughs> I won't sell it yet. I really, really love it. So I, I can't sell it. It's like one of my favorite necklaces that I have. I already showed the square pin. What were you talking about? Oh, were you talking about the one that looks like this one? Or did you, were you, you one or were you talking about this one? I, I can't sell it to you yet. Eventually, unless you can give me 500 for it. No, I'm joking. <laughs> I'm joking. It, I think it's Victorian. It's my heart. It's the only heart I'll ever have, guys. No, I'm joking. Um. <laughs> That's a joke. Is this what you're talking about? You've won or no? I'm not going to sell it. Not yet. You want to see my heart? I can rip it out of my chest. Um, <laughs> I have it on here with a necklace I bought off Gina. I love this necklace too, and I won't sell that either. Um, look, it's a beautiful, it, this is a lovely Victorian looking, I don't know exactly how to date that. I have to look at it, but it's nice 800 silver. Okay, yeah, I'll show you that one. But here's the lovely heart. It has one of these, those clasps. And it's absolutely beautiful. I have it doubled up. I love it. All right, guys. It's it's a celebrity, huh? <laughs> Joe, again, it's a very nice necklace. And I got that so cheap. Somebody said that it was a, what they said it was is um, plastic with something floating around in it. That's what they said on Mercury. <laughs> I, bought. I mean, I'm not making fun of them because I'm, I'm sure I've sold things that. My heart? You want my heart? I'm not selling that. <laughs> I can't sell it. I just can't laugh myself to sell that yet. It's one of the better finds that I've found so far. Um, and I really love it. And it's beautiful. I put it on a um, 
I have a chain, a watch chain I put it on too. It's higher up. Yeah. No, I'm not going to sell it now, Roman. I'll let you know. I, I just can't sell it. I don't know what it's worth. I got to look into it. I think it's pretty um, old. I don't know how old I have to look into it. Okay, this is what you wanted to see, Yvonne, right? It's a little pin. Um, this is a brass, and I don't, that's not sterling. I don't think I did not test it. <laughs> so I can't say. But I think that's glass, honestly. But it looks like amethyst, right? I mean, the gem testers aren't great all the time, but I'm pretty certain it's not amethyst. I'm not going to push it off as that. It's still a nice pin. Or did he want my cameo necklace? Okay. Oh, you want this? I can give you a price on it, Yvonne. Um, <laughs> it's nice, though. I don't know if it's Chinese or Japanese. Uh, 18 bucks. Is that good? It's cute. This is from the hall. I picked this up at the, th the thrift store after a while. It's a nice pin. I did not test that. No, I, I Yvonne, I, I'll let Yvonne have it since she said yeah first. Um, Yes, thank you. I won't price it high. I don't, I don't do that. I, I just can't. <laughs> I mean, I don't. I mean, it's nice. I think 18 bucks is good for it. Don't, well, don't say, don't sell it. I won't sell it. Maybe eventually I'll let you know. Who knows? I, I doubt it, though. I don't think I'll ever find anything like that again. Not in my, it's been a year in my career, and that was one of the best things I've ever found. All right, so you've won 18 bucks. Hopefully it's okay. Didn't somebody else said they wanted after that? I hope they're not upset. I don't, who was it? Um. I could have said a hundred bucks and you pray. <laughs> I'm joking. Um, yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. Uh, I'm just, I don't know. I'm calling it. looks like like the Ming, Ming dynasty kind of, you know what I mean? I don't know what it is. So it's just a little pin. It's nice. Let me see. I have a bag for you. I, think. I know I do actually. All right. Okay. Did I put the price on? Yeah. All right. Let me see if I have anything else that may be good for you. I could sell my fertility. I oh, know I don't want to sell that either. Um, no, I think it's, somebody told me it's fertility. Oh no, I'm not going to sell it yet. I'll wait. I'll wait on that. I, I really like it. I think I'd cry if I got rid of it. No, you don't want to see me cry, right? <laughs> Maybe you do, but <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, all right, these guys, I don't know what these are. Okay. I'm not going to call them loose site. I have a, I just don't want to call them loosely because I don't know if they are. I know there are no seams on these and these are very well weighed. Oh, thank you. Yeah, it's only been, well, it's been a year in July. That's when I started to buy and sell. So a little over a year, I guess a year and a half almost now, right? These are nice. I, I'm not calling them loose like though because I don't know. But look, they're like carved or yeah, I think they're nice. There's a greenish one and a yellowish one. Let me stick them on the neck or something so I'm not holding them. Well, can you see them? Kind of. Um, the diameter, let me get to that because I already measured that um, ahead of time. These are 2.5 inches each this way. And they look nice on together. Let me see in my hand. I mean, I'm going to knock stuff over. <laughs> That's a bad record presentation there I know all right so two and a half inches and acrylic I can say that with confidence um right so that's what we'll call them um both of them I'm selling them as a set I'm gonna sell these for 24 bucks for both of them the inside diameter I don't know let me stick a thing in there I did it across like this. Yeah, we'll call it acrylic is good. I think, yeah, two and a half inches from here to here. An average size bangle. I have a six inch wrist and I had a lot of room in there. Yeah, I think it's fits up to what they say, like seven inches or something. Who got in first? Oh, hey, Lisa, the only one that said she wanted one, so. All right, Jackie, that, that, I, that, that's yours. I, I mean, I'll keep that for you. 
I'll let you know about that. We'll talk about that. Um, I do have one. I didn't pull it out. I'll email you about it. Um, so 24 bucks for the two. I don't know if they're loose sight. It doesn't really matter, really. Um, <laughs> acrylic and loose sight. Yeah, that's fantastically cool. I stuck it on my own sterling chain. Oh, and let me, Haley, in 24 bucks I sold them for, right? Yes, thank you. They're nice. Yeah, the fertility one, I'm terrified to wear it, you know. No, that's, I'm joking about that. It's just a, um, thank you, Haley. It's just some kind of um, myth. Did everybody see that one? Well, I'm not going to show it to you because I'm not selling it. I don't want to do that. It's annoying to people, probably. Now, let me show it to you. I just have to. Like, I just have to. Look at it. Isn't she fantastic? She's absolutely beautiful. 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 There, it's my son. That's me. <laughs> I'm joking. Um, it's just, it's a, it's a, it, look what it, somebody told me that that's a fertility one. So it's fantastic. I like the pearls down there too. What do you think about that? I don't know. I really like that. Yeah, this is amazing. And I stuck it on a triple chain that I had from another necklace, triple sterling. Yeah, I got this in a Goodwill lot. And somebody told me, I think this is Art Nouveau. Would you agree with that? The ladies that know. If you want to answer. The ladies that know. Um, I'm not going to say. Somebody told me that looked like male. Okay, male genitalia there. <laughs> um, it's a lovely necklace. I've worn it already. Um, it's got some weight to it. It's not extremely heavy. But, um, what the? Yeah, you can, you can. There, Misty. Misty's message could come out. I'm not afraid of that word. Um, yeah, I don't think, I don't know. Somebody, I mean, it's really nice, though. I, I love it. Okay. Yeah, because of the shape, that's what they said. After mucho? Oh. Um, I don't know how, I don't know the dating. Yeah, the back is nice, too. And it's one that I'm keeping just to wear. Yeah, something like that. This is probably worth, I, I don't know. Those are, it is sterling, and those are peridot. I tested them. And one thing my gem tester tells me is peridot and amethyst and topaz. It's pretty good. I really, really love it. Would anybody be willing to start it at $200? I'm going to buy it now, so I probably shouldn't do that. Okay. <laughs> I really like it, but sometimes you get rid of things you like. Yeah, yeah. Someone emailed me. She was very tasteful about it. She said, that looks like this to me. Um. I don't see a marking on it, girly gamer, no. But it is sterling silver. Um, yeah, that's fine. It plopped you, though, which is really strange. It's not marked. And it's fantastic. I, I don't want to sell it right now. I'll wait. Uh, I, I may bring it to... Um... Well, no, I was going to start the auction at 200 but this is not an auction. Um, so... Without the chain? Eh. Anybody, I don't know. I'm not at an auction. I was going to bring it to auction. Maybe I'm just having the auction one day a month now, guys. At the first Monday of the month. Okay, I better move on before I start dropping off. All right. Um, that's probably the, um, the funnest thing I'll show today. No, I'm joking. Besides my heart. Yeah, um... Oh, an auction. I'll wait. I'll bring it to auction. Okay. Um, it'll be on um, the first Monday of the month. I'm, I'm going to do the auctions. I do have some decent jewelry. Nothing like that, though. That's, this is all left on after this goes. That was fantastic. Um, what did Marzana say? What did she say? I didn't see what Marzana even said. Yeah, I want to research it more. I'd like to know what, what date it's from, um, if it's Art Nouveau or not. And I want to research a little more and be able to give some details on it before I sell it. And I and I, I really like it, honestly. I don't care what it looks like, people, if it looks like that or not. I think it's fantastic. Apparently, Lori did as well, right? 
and other people do. So this necklace is <laughs> nowhere. <laughs> I do have that. Let me let me pull that for you. It's a fantastic necklace. Let me go grab it. Why not? May as well offer something nice. But, I mean, not to say that my jewelry is not nice. Because I'm not. I'm not saying that. Yeah, this is a fantastic necklace. I'll start with this one next, and then I will do that one. Um, there's an earring stuck to it. Let me, this is nice too. This is crystal and bandit carnelian, I think it's called. And there's a troll. Let me get rid of one. It's not really a troll. What these things are, are bots, kind of. They're trying to get people to click on them and take them to their website. That's what that is. It's not like anybody, like, um, that you think's harassing you or anything. Okay, so this hair is, this is Yvonne. It's a very fantastic Look how beautiful it was. Okay, I have to measure it. I didn't have it pulled out, but I'm pulling it out because you asked. Okay, I'm measuring it. It's, it is, does not have a clasp on it. It's like an, you know, an infinity, whatever they call it. It's 46 inches. So how well, how big is that then? Whatever, 46 inches. It's almost, almost four feet. And you see that it's knotted with gold thread in between, run through it, and... It's really lovely, actually. Um, I'm going to triple it so I can hang it up and show it to you. Okay. There it is. And I don't remember if this is called. Um, isn't there a special name for this if anybody wants to elaborate on that for me? I'll write it down this time. I can't remember. Hi. Hi, Polly. This is lovely. 46 inches of crystal with gold running, gold thread running through it. Don't, all right, I didn't give you a price yet. I would sell this for 70. Are you, is that, do you still want it? I didn't get to research it still yet. And I swear that Dawn told me what they were called and I would, just don't remember if they're electric. No. <laughs> um, this type, maybe this isn't it. It was light, medium, and dark. Do these fall under that? Does anybody? No, it's 46 inches. Um, this is yellow thread. Okay. And it's 46 inches, actually. But Yvonne, these, okay, you'll pass. Okay. I need to look at them better. I don't understand them. Um, I really don't, I have to look it up. I want to understand it. All right. So who didn't bring it back another day? Maybe I was too high priced. If, if I am, I mean, that may have been too high. I don't know. I'll bring it back cheaper or something. Or offer it at another time. Fit for, oh, Deb, 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 Deb. Thank you. Yeah, Deb, Deb's learning. Deb's learning the uh, vintage as well here. So. All right, Jackie, I'll put that aside for you. Okay. I'll stick it with Jim Collins. Then I didn't give you a price. <laughs> but you know, the same thing as the other one. Okay, you're welcome. Um, this is for Jackie. I, I will put to Jim Collins with it that I promised you. Okay, and I'll talk to you about the price on that because I didn't pull it out here. Um, just let me stick these in the corner here. Um, Vitriol. I don't know how to pronounce it. V I T vitriol. Close enough. Thank you. I'll look it up. Um, I I want to know what they are. I don't understand them. Um, I mean they're they're crystals. I know that. And congratulations. Thank you. Let me. I I left the Joan Collins with it as well. That I I told you to keep for you. Um, does anybody want to see this one? I mean, it's, I'm all necklaces tonight. I have other things. I have a couple other. Let me show another ring that I won't place as high. I guess I placed it that high because I kind of want it. Or is anybody like these little guys? Did you see these on the preview? Or are these something cool? Or is that just me to, I don't know. Let me see. <laughs> is anybody interested in these? Okay. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to put these little fellas down and show you the necklace for you guys, Emily, and whoever else likes that. It's a nice necklace. It's a, um, I have to look up to see what 
exactly called because my banded carnelian agate with crystals. Somebody told me that. <laughs> no, but it is, and I looked it up, and it's correct. Um, there's rhinestones, like, on these metal pieces there, and crystals, and the uh, carnelian banded agate. Um, but that measures... Um, It measures 19 to 22 inches. Okay, I, that, what that means, um, I'll show you the gators too. They're really cool. And see, it's 19 with a three inch extender is what I mean. I'll show you the gators in a minute, Marzana. Yeah, they're, um, I have to show them and you know me, I'm crazy. I have to give all the details and stuff. <laughs> um, they're really, really cool. Yeah, I would be afraid of my hair getting caught in them, too. And, yeah, you have lovely, lovely hair. Like my daughter's, but hers isn't wavy. She's blonde. Okay, um, my oldest is a blonde. Okay, Bandit Carnelian Agate with Crystal and Rhinestones 19. Okay, guys, for the love of God, 34 bucks. <laughs> I'm sorry. I can't believe people stay to listen to this. <laughs> I go for it five times. When I rewatch my videos, I'm like, one time's enough. You know, it's really pretty. Look, let me show you what's on it. We have these, um, these are faceted hair crystals. And then there's these ones that look like marbles. Okay, um, more faceted and then more of those and these little things. And then that big piece looks like it should be on your chandelier. And then a banded agate, carnelian. Banded. Let's see. Yeah. Carnelian agate. All right. Yeah, I'll have to look it up. This crystal's bit. I, I did put it over there, Jackie, for you. I will keep it. All right. Yeah, I've never even, I knew I, um, I couldn't remember if that's what it was, if that's what it is. You're in jewelry jail. Yeah, a lot of people probably are. All right, I'm just going to turn this over and wait a moment. It's a really nice necklace, I think. I don't know. I like this kind of necklace, the combination. I have one hanging behind me. It's nice. I'm going to show that to you guys. I'll show the gators first, though. Um, they're pretty cool. All right, let me hang it up and just leave it there just for a minute. Yeah, I caught myself repeating myself like more than once, and I'm like, it's enough. <laughs> Stop it. All right, I'm gonna pass on it. It's fantastic. I'm going to show you guys. A, well, I don't want to show you that one because I don't know what it is. You know, I need to learn. what I don't like to sell things if I don't know what they are. It really bothers me because um, I'm sure I've sold things worth substantial. And that's not it. I just like to know what it is, you know. All right. Here's the gators before I saw what I tried it. And these are not sterling. Um, at least as far as I could tell, I tested them. But thank you. Or, yes, we'll pass those. Do you see um, how... Hold on, let me get to order this. Okay. I'll show you the necklace. But I, I don't know. I don't know if I I just don't know what it is. I have to, I don't I need to plug the gem tester and stuff. And I think there's um some stones on it. But here, these guys are posts, but they go, you know, in your ears. They open. Didn't I show you in the video? Do you want to see? Here, hold on. Let me show you. Little If I can get it in there, I can't see. There, oh, they're so adorable. But he's these are not sterling, and that is not stone. That's glass, and he has rhinestone eyes. You see his green eyes. The little gators measure, um, or crocodiles, whatever the hell, whichever they are. Where's the earrings? Um, one and one quarter inch. I was gonna sell these for twenty if anybody is willing or wants them. Not willing. <laughs> I think they're really cool. One and one quarter inch across. Maybe I'm not giving the best picture of the gators. I don't know. I showed them on my video. Um, 
I think they're really cute. But they're not sterling silver, but I've never seen anything like them. There you go. Look how cute he is. This one with a little ring in his mouth. That ring's nice, isn't it? I'm mean, wearing that as a thumb ring. <laughs> it looks a little tight there. All right. Hi, Tracy. They are cute, aren't they? There's two of them, obviously. These are earrings. I, uh, there you go. Little Paris earrings. His head would go in the front and his tail in the back. If you have a lot of hair, he may get stuck into your hair. That is something to think about. Um, so, Lori, you want them? They're cute. You can pull your hair up when you wear them. You can't wear costume. I have to worry. I watch that, too. Even Sterling hurts my ears, but I still do put it on from time to time. Maybe a nickel-free type thing. Okay, Lori, they're yours. They're adorable. 20 for the gators or crocodiles. I don't know. I thought they kind of looked like sea serpents, too. I have no idea what they are. Um, I think I have a bag. Where is that? There. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Oh, it's going enough to pay the worst set that you already paid for. <clears throat> last week um okay uh any other request i'm not done i'm nowhere near done i have a bunch of jewelry here that somebody might want <laughs> i'll try let me show you guys the necklace i i have to investigate it a little oh i have two of them that i think are nice but i have a little bit of different tastes than most people well maybe not most people but like look at that You're welcome. Thank you. Isn't this lovely? I don't, I don't know. I don't, I think it may just be a handmade piece, but I do not know. But I'm not ready to sell it because I don't know. It's pretty. I like it. Does anybody else like it or I have really bad taste? <laughs> like, I'm like waiting for someone to say, oh, it's pretty good. Like, what is that? Hey, it's nice. Got some crystal on it. Pearls. I don't know what these are. They feel like stones. I have to test it. I'm not going to sell that one. But I think it's classy and it's very, it's lovely. It's, it's, it's all you would need if you wear it with your, you know, whatever you wear it with. This one's nice. So this one is sterling. I have, I would move it off of here, but look, like this is deliberately asymmetric. You see, this is all sterling findings and I don't, does anybody know what kind, what that's called, that glass there, but I have it on a shorter length than what it actually is, but I think that's nice too. Um, it's all sterling and whatever that is. <laughs> I'm going to try to sell it, see if anybody likes this. Um, not that one, though. I, I really, I, I, I can, I was going to see if anybody was interested in this one. I don't know if it will be. It's a little different, um, in taste. It's a 20 inch, and you can wear it smaller. Um, it has, let me hang it up normal. 20 inches in length, but you can wear it, um, shorter. Yeah, I really like the other one. I like this one, too, but I've never, I don't wear it. And all the findings on it are sterling, like there and all down, all the chain. And it's asymmetrical. Like I said, you see how it has the balls on one side and not on the other, those. It's deliberately made like I think. But you can wear it shorter than 20 inches, probably. I don't know what it is, even. <laughs> what to call it i would sell it for it's unique and i don't know it may not be for everybody i really like it i would sell that for um it looks like something good to me i'd say 40 i mean i don't it's it's a quality necklace it's well made and i think it's nice but i would ask for 40 for it i mean it's probably worth more than that um 
it's it's a it's a it's not a you see that it's it's just a lobster claw clasp in it's very lovely though and different i don't see a hallmark on it so Haley wants it okay you can have it it's nice i mean i've never worn it but i i like it i think it's a fantastic necklace it's definitely different you won't see anybody wearing this on their neck. All right. Well, thank you. I appreciate your, um, I appreciate your business. Thank you. Yes. Haley wants it. And it, it's nice. You'll like it. You won't regret it. You never see one like this again. I don't think maybe you will, but I doubt it. It's a cool necklace. It's well worth 40 bucks. It's very eclectic looking and I think it's classy looking. That would look nice uh, when you're wearing when you're dressed up, I think. All right, so I'm going to call it, I have no idea. I'm just going to call it a cool necklace. And I'm going to put it in your bag. All right, and thank you. And you have a bag already, right? Yeah, I put it up your mirror one. Those, those are all got together. I'll just invoice without shipping. Okay, it's okay. I understand. All right, thank you, though. Thank you for coming and purchasing for me. I appreciate it. I'm going to do a little ring. Congratulations. It is very nice. The other one, I, I, um, I don't know. I got to wear it somewhere. I never leave my house, guys. I got to start going out. I think. All right. This is three pieces. <laughs> What's this called, guys? Is that a fidget ring? This little thing. It's Mark 925 and Sterling in there. Not not Sterling in 925. It's Mark 925 and there's something inside a circle that I cannot read. It's this three piece. This is only, it's four grams. That's it. Seven to 7.25 inches in, in size. Size seven to 7.25 is where it was in between. Let me show you. You know how it is when it's triples, a puzzle ring. Okay, thank you. Oh, it's an eight. Down on an eight, you see that? So I was wrong. All right. Oh, it may be James Avery. What is his? Oh, no, isn't his a um, Kendra Lover or something? Um, I always that reminds me of Inside the Kendra Lover with uh, Liberace. It was a good movie. I like Liberace. Was an interesting character to me. Wait, it may have, it may be his. Let me see. I, I can't, I can't see. Oh my goodness. My, um, I have one second. I know. I'm sorry, guys. Um, let me try to look at the homework because there's something in a circle. And I've seen Thelma show his jewelry enough that I should know that. Um, because she, she likes James Avery. Avery, you know that. I don't know. I'm not going to call it his. I don't know whose it is. It's a size eight, though. If anybody wants this, I was going to sell it for 30 bucks. Size eight puzzle ring. Sterling. I did test it. It is sterling silver. But I cannot see what's in the circle. I don't think it's, I, I'm not saying it's his, as I don't know. Hi, Melissa. Have I, have I sold you before? Did Melissa come in first, Barb? Can you confirm that for me? I, I think. So this is something. So maybe I need to bring more sterling. Should I pull out my sterling? <laughs> I'll show the stuff I have, and I will if I need to. But anyways, um, I think Melissa was first. Okay. Can anybody can can you guys confirm that for me? Okay. Okay, Melissa. If I have I sold to you before, I I don't recognize your name. If if I did, I'm sorry. If I sold to you before, I'm sorry. I need you. If not, I need you to email me at vintagejewelrygalore@yahoo.com. It's scrolling down here. You can't see that, right? It's scrolling right there. And you will just give me your YouTube name. Okay, thank you. Yeah, just your YouTube name, um, PayPal email address and country in which you live. But 30 bucks for the little puzzle ring. Thank you for that, Cynthia, for the name of it. I share. Norm Walsh, N-O-R-M-A. That name's familiar. Um, not not the whole of it. The end of it. Um. Okay. All right. I have more. Let me pull more. 
I'll put that in the bag. All right. What do I have? I have, a, I have pearls. Anybody interested in some Nora pearls, maybe? I do have one more ring. Thank you. Yes, thank you and congratulations. I'm like a marathon here. When I have... <laughs> Somebody said when, when Thelma's here, she like when she's saying it faster, like it's like being at the races. Um, these are nice. Let me remove my little fertility. It's not a fertility. I'm not calling it that. Um, these are nice though. I think. Don't you think? Look, they have the H on them, and nine two five. Like the H is marked on the side, nine two five, and they are knotted in between. They're freshwater pearls, multiple colors there. I'll show them again in a second. Um, there's that to see of them. And they have the little bag with them. That's their bag. Yeah, Anora, Anora, and I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right. It's the H silent. I don't know. Anora pearls, we'll call it. But um, for those, they are, um, let me find them. 20 inches and I was gonna I was gonna sell them for 30 bucks if anybody wants them let me show you the colors better and see if I can show you the little H on there I mean there is a little H engraved on it and it's sterling clasp there there's a hair on there probably fur first hi Ashley what did I say on these 30 bucks? Did I see? Yeah, I said 30 bucks. I, I can't even remember. I do have it written down. They have a, yeah, you see the colors. They're like a, they're like, pa they're pastels. Um, a champagne white, um, like a yellowish gray, pinkish. They're pretty. And they're 20 inches there. Oops. Yeah, they're worth that. They're worth more than that. I know that, but I figured they, I'd offer them at 30. These are really pretty ones. I like the color on them. They are knotted in between two there. Yeah, they do. I had a set with the earrings, too. I, I find these from time to time where I shop. I'm going to start sourcing other places, too. I, I've got to reach branch myself out. I mean, I do find fairly decent things, but I want to start branching out to find more. But let me hang them up here, see if anybody wants the little pearls with the bag. If not, we'll move on. Let me move my cameo necklace. Um, I don't know what happened old. I really like that one too. Um, oops. Is that too close? There we go. I already don't see any interest. Um, You do? Yeah, they're pretty. They have all different colors of them. Like, um, they come in, they have different shades. I had a blue and I sold those, like a blue and silver pair that were brand new. I sold those not long ago at auction. But these ones, we'll probably pass on them. I'll wait just a minute. Um, I think they're nice. And they are, they're pearls. They have the H, you know, they engraved the H on it. Like it's lightly engraved on the clasp. All right, I'm my stuff in it. So, I have Joan Rivers earrings here. They're um, round ones. I'll show those. I'll show these Koi's and earrings too. They're really nice. Somebody might like them. Okay, T. Lee, you'll take these for 30. You get a little bag with them, the little Anora bag. Thank you. Thank you. So, I have something for you from. You know, I did a Thrifty Thursdays, and when I sell things, I hold them and combine the shipping for people. You know that, but I don't think you have anything here. If you do, I'll figure that out. Um, thank you, though. I have 
a number of bags um, waiting to go out. I do. Okay, I'll find it. Um, it's just the list is big because, I mean, you know, I asked for payment, but then keep them so you could save on shipping. It helps you. But for now, I will just put these in a bag. All right. Right there. Next. Thank you. Okay, so yeah, your bag's probably down here. And it didn't go out. I'm sorry. If I said it was and it didn't, I'm sorry. It's on, <laughs> there, it's, it hasn't been that long, but, you know, they'll go out. I'll probably send, they'll all go out Wednesday. Okay, we'll combine the shipping. I'm sorry. Um, does anybody have anything that I showed that they want to see? I mean, I'm not done. I'm nowhere near done, but <laughs> I have a lot of jewelry here. I, oh, I have this. What about this? This vintage um, opal glass. Or is that opalite? Is that called opalite too? This is a vintage necklace bracelet. It's on a necklace. It has a safety chain on it. It's not gold filled. At best, it would be plated. I'm going to call it silver toned. But you can take the clasp, the safety clasp off. It has a fold over. It's definitely vintage. And those are glass. Is that called opaline or opalite? Well, it's south, southwestern NATO. Oh, you like this? Um, <laughs> I'm trying to show it to you guys. Where you, it's like, and let me un, let me undo it. I like closed it, crook it. You know what I mean? And it's I can't get them all to go the same way. Hi, oh hi, Phyllis. Let's go, Granny. Hi, if you don't mind me giving your name, I don't call you Go Granny. <laughs> I always call people by their names, but okay, it's nice. I'll give you measurements on it and a price. Yeah, I thought it kind of looked like Dragon Breath too, but I think it's opalite. Yeah, let me give you a measurement on this, guys. Um, it's an eight inch. It's a link bracelet, and look at the back of it. It's eight inches. If you're a smaller wrist, that's a little big. Um, you know, if you're a six inch lady, that would probably fall off you. Um, but if you have a bigger wrist, it would be great, right? <laughs> Like, I, I don't know how big your wrist has to be. Probably seven inches to do that, maybe. It's a nice, nice bracelet. Um, the safety chain is fully operational. But let me give you a price on it. Dragon's bad breath. <laughs> My breath's already bad. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm starving. I'm so hungry. I'm trying not to eat as much as I usually do. All right. If anybody wants it, I was going to sell it. It's vintage, and I think it's fantastic. 28 bucks. It is not gold filled though, I can tell you that. I don't know if it's plated. <laughs> Doesn't have. Yeah, it is big. It's bigger. Um, actually, this seems weird because um, well no, they made bracelets that size. I don't know how old this is. Anybody have a guess on that for me? Huh? Never mind, I'm sorry. Always trying to get information out <laughs> of people all the time. Um, I don't know, fifties or something, maybe. I know these were started, they made in the 40s, but that doesn't mean it was from the 40s. Okay, so T. Lee, I think T. Lee came in first anyways, didn't she? 28 bucks for the opalite. We're going to call it opal glass <laughs> bracelet T. Lee. It's, a, it's lovely. Very lovely, lovely. I have a nice little scarab one, too. I'll show that to you guys. Um, all right, how about... These aren't the most exciting Joan Rivers earrings here. Um, I have these interchangeable. Joan, oh my goodness, one of the little balls are rolling away. Does Haley want to, Haley, do you want it for 28? Oh, I can switch it up. Mid-century. Okay, that's what I thought. I was thinking, you know that that clasp is 40s. I mean, it's when they start using it, but the links, yeah. And probably to, all right, I don't know. It's a hard time telling that stuff I try. All right, these are Joan Rivers. We have 10 different colors. So, okay, see, so Tealy can have it. Um, let me show them to you if anybody's interested. I'm going to sell these really cheap if anybody wants them. Um, you take this off and this, you know, take that off and open that up and you can change the color of the balls. They're supposed to look like gemstones, that like pearl, two different colors of pearl onyx. 
Um, you have coral color, amethyst. Uh, what is that supposed to be? Opal? Not opal. Um, oh, my. I can't. Jade. Jadeite, probably. And an amber color. Okay, there's 10 different colors. That's okay. It's okay. Are you okay? Are you, are you getting tired or anything? What time? It's only 9.30. Yeah, these are Joan Rivers interchangeable. They are post earrings um, with 10 different options that you stick inside there. You take this off and it opens up. And they're in good shape. This is not the original box. I stuck this in here. They don't have a box, but this works. So for these earrings, um, it's one in one in one quarter inch length on the earring from top to bottom and i'm dropping the balls but they're there okay that is one one quarter inch i should probably hang them on something i have the silver in them let me hang them on one of my black things so i can show them to you guys um i was gonna one second hi ian yeah I, um it's all right, the Opa, somebody bought that pretty quick. People were dying. My, okay, let me show you. Lord. I do have other Joan Rivers, too. I have a watch, but it doesn't have a battery in it. And I don't know if anybody would want to buy that fun battery. Okay, so one and one quarter inch on these. And 16 bucks if you would want them. They're gold toned, and they have 10 different colored of... These balls that go in there. You have the amethyst, the coral. This is supposed to look like lapis. Tea Lee wants these. Um, okay, I could stop showing the colors and I showed them to you in the box, right? All right, 16 bucks for the interchangeable. I'll send them in this box, okay? Was Tea Lee was first? I I believe so. All right, so Joan Rivers interchangeables for 16 bucks. Let me get a card. They're in good shape. I think these are from the classic collection. So 16. Okay. Oh, in your name. I guess that would be a good idea. I, I always put the name on here because um, sometimes they get... Um, you know, I might stick something in the whole bag. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for the interest from everyone. Um, how about, I have, this is really nice. Look at this. This is Crown Trafari, rhodium plated. Signed Crown Trafari, it's engraved in there with the copyright. So, and the signature looks that of 19th. Don't know how I remember this in my head, but I absolutely do. 1955 to 1969. It's one of those things that stuck in my head. The trade, the home, you know, the mark back there, the Crown Trafari with the copyright after. And these are unpronged rhinestones. And one of them, let me show you. See, let me get my light or magnifying glass. Um, try to show you. One of them looks slightly yellow. Um, but not really noticeable, but it's old, right? See that? Yeah, you can see that, right? That one looks a little darker than the rest, guys. It's a lovely, 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 fantastically lovely brooch. Crown Trafari. It is the Crown Post Trial copyright. It's nice, though. Okay, you see there's rhinestones surrounding and then it has the plating in the front as well. So for this crown trafari, um, let me give you a measurement on it and then I'll stick it back. I'm going to put it on a pillow or something. All right, there's that right there. It's a nice crown trafari. It's, um, I have another one to show too, not like this. One in 1.75, so one and three quarter inches. Even with that little yellowish there. Hi, hi, Adrian. Um, I was going to do it at 50 because it's a fantastic pin brooch. 
this is a birch. You see, you can see the rhinestones um, surrounding and it's at the point where they stopped pronging them for a period of time. Um, they still have the prongs on there, but it is they are not pushed over. But it is rhodium plated. This is probably 50s, late 50s, maybe, I mean 60s, that's what it would be, right? I mean, with that hallmark on it, I, I, it's 55 to 69. It's, an, it's just one of those insane numbers that stick in my head. <laughs> One of those weird dating things that stick there. Okay, that's fine. Um, that's fine. Yeah, if nobody wants it, I'll, I'll keep it. This is one that I had in my collection, actually. I, It's a Crown Trafari that I liked. That may be high. Maybe it is high. I don't know. I'll, I mean, I didn't price check it. I just pulled it out of my box. Out of my jewelry box. Um but if nobody's interested, I'll just, I'll pass on it. That's fine. I just thought I'd show it to see if anybody was. I think it's worth that, honestly, even with that yellow, um, yellowing stone. This is a, could be Alfred Philippe. I don't know. It's Carl Trafari, ready and plated and probably mid-century. I do. I have this little fella. <laughs> I have that. Do you remember this on my preview, guys? Um, somebody told me it's an acorn. It's in some book. I do not know which book. I didn't look in the Trafari book online, and I have to see if it was in their book. But it was in a book because she sent me a picture of it, and I didn't ask which book is this in or anything. Um, I probably should have, but I figured it was enough that she told me that it was. Um, it's Crown Trafari as well. Let me look in. This is post-copyright as well. Yeah. There's the back like a brushed gold type and this is shinier the, this is like a matte like a brushed but this one is one and three quarter inches and it's cool i think i thought it was a strawberry too but no she said that she thinks it's an acorn i don't remember who it was but she had like a collection she had it or something and she has a collection of these birches. so i don't know i'm not going to say she's completely wrong but it looks like a strawberry to me but she could be right right i don't even remember who it is i'd have to go back and look no, it's terrible it's been a rough day in my head um <laughs> i've had a rough day anyways it is one and three quarter inches right listen to what i said um Crown Trafari. I'll sell it for. I don't even remember. I paid for it. I'll sell it for thirty-eight. I think it looks like a strawberry. But yeah, maybe you're right. My heart also looks like a strawberry. So a lot of people are saying strawberry. Um, but my heart is a heart. I, you know, the amber heart, not my heart. <laughs> people don't even know what I'm talking about. What did I say? Thirty-eight bucks for this. You think it's a strawberry all right jackie i'll put it with your things um i said 38 is that correct so this is the crown for 40 i'm gonna call it a strawberry all right for 38. who's monica is that my sister Monica, <laughs> I'm joking. Oh, no, it's spelled different. Um, okay, I already put it aside um, for Jackie, but um, that's not my sister. I'm sorry. I just see the name Monica. I'm like, is that one of my sisters? And it's not. I have two sisters, an older one. and Both of them are older than me. But, yeah, it's, it's a nice, it's a nice, it's a collectible piece. This is a collectible Um yeah, I don't see like these often. This type of thing. All right, guys. Um, what else? I have a Saint, a Saint, a Saint John pin. I call it a pin. That's not really a brooch, right? I mean, I don't call these ones brooches, but it's Saint John's. It says it back there and on here. Let me show it to you. Um, two and one quarter inches, like this way. There's what's on it. 
You can see my name. He has like a little knocker. <laughs> it's gold tone. There's the back. Let me close it. Well, I'll put it on a pillow in a minute. I'm sorry. I have to look at it to see if I'm what I'm looking for. Okay. Anyways, there's that. You see the name on it. Um, where is it? Up here. I'm getting blind. Um, all right. So this is a St. John pin. I'm going to stick it on a pillow. Did I say? I said it was two and one quarter inches. There's a cat on there, a door knocker. There's different things on it. Can you make that out? So I would sell this for 50 bucks if anybody wants this St. John's pin. I'm not calling it, um, you know, it's, I can't even identify what's on it from way I'm low. Oh, now I, I can't on my computer. It looks so much better on a computer than what it does on my phone. So I need to look over there. I could probably use my um, webcam. There's another little bot. I call these bots. Let me get rid of them. I will hide them. Those are, there's a lot of those blocked from my channel. They're all over it. Um, this is pretty, I think. All right. It's a thin birch. Oh, look, there's the. What? <clears throat> All right, I'll hold it here just for a minute. But that's like a completely different language, guys. What does that look at that name? Is that Egyptian or something? I don't know, they're hidden now. They're going to my blocked section of my channel. All right, I'm gonna pass on it. I think it hasn't been long enough. I think so. If anybody sees it and they want it, email me, and that's will be fine. I think I had that hat sitting there for a few minutes. All right, let me see. What else do I have? Let me move this stuff out of the way so it does not get mixed up anywhere. Um, okay, down there. Next. See, that cup there is covering my hole in my desk. All right. Um, is anybody like, sh how about this? Look at this. Isn't that cute? Um. There's a man on a horse. This looks like it should have Spain on it, but uh, written made in Spain, but it has nothing on it. There's a man on a horse, and that is a woman, I think. You see that? And what's that? A guitar or some type of instrument. There's the back. I think it's cute. It's a little fan. Let me stick it on this pillow here. My pillow's looking a little fuzzy, but... It works. I need to get the white, leather, the black leather. I couldn't find them. Okay, so anyways, um, so it's one and three quarter inches, and it's cool. I've never seen one like this before. It has a enameling on it, but it's that different, like thinner enamel. If you know what I'm talking about, it's not real thick, but it is enameled. I think it's pretty cool. This I'll sell for twenty two. If anybody wants it, I think it's really neat. Look. Like they're raised on there. The little man on a horse. He's on a black horse. And I believe that's a woman over there. Let me look at it. Yeah, I think that's it's so small. It's not quite two inches. Yeah, I think it looks like a Spain piece too, but I didn't see Spain on it. But it's pretty cute, actually. See how the horse and the man are like raised on everything's raised on it. Um, 
This is a cute little pin. Yeah, I have other ones that um, aren't signed Spain that look like they are too. All right. I'm ready to pass already. Listen to me. Um, I'm going to pass. I am going to pass. If anybody wants it, they can come back at me for it. I don't think I'm moving too fast, right? Um, that was, wasn't I holding that for a couple minutes? Does anybody want to confirm that or deny it? All right. What else do I have? I don't know if I have anything in, like anything in particular anybody wants to see. Oh, I'm sorry. That was um, 20. I didn't say a price. 22. I was charging 22 for that little thing. It's pretty cool. It's unique. You think the speed's fine? Okay. All right. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna pull it away. If anybody wants it, they can ask about it. I don't see any interest in that. Um, it it, it kind of looks damascene, but that's not really damascene. Um, not that I'm an expert on that or anything, but it's not. It's cool. I guess maybe it is some a different type. I don't know. What do you think? I could be wrong. All right, I don't like hear anybody here. I guess other people are on now or something. Just not that I can hear anybody. It just seems so quiet. I guess I need to pull something more exciting out. Um, this is stone and bone. That's what I call it. Um, <laughs> and I don't see anything on me. Um, Damas okay. These are stones. And those are bone pieces on there. All right. So for that one, there is, um, let me tell you what what the measurements are on it. Um, it's 16 inches. And if anybody's interested in it, um, this is 16 inches. And I don't know what kind of stones they are. I'm really sorry. Um, this is 30. I'd sell it for 30 if you were interested. Um, kind of looks like Chinese turquoise, but I wouldn't want to call it that. Okay. Yeah, it looked like to... But it looked like Toledo wear to me more than Damascene. It's nice, though. It's a nice little pin. I really like it. Too short. Yeah, I think it's 16 or, um, that's what I wrote down. Let me measure it to make sure. Sometimes I'm off. But it's still not that long. We'll see how long it is. Oh, it's 18. Look. If that's any better for you. I don't know. It's 18 inches. To start opening them up when I measure them. If, if you're interested, just let me know. If not, no big deal. But if anybody's interested, it's 30 bucks for um 18 inch stone and bone. But I look at the stone on it. I don't know. Um, okay. I'm gonna I'll just leave that lay there for a minute and try to find something else. I don't know what to what to pick out of my stuff. All right. All right. I do have a gem tester to test my stones. But the thing about the gem tester is it's not all it's not hundred percent correct in telling you what type of stone you have. Really, what you can do with that, in my opinion, is see if it's glass or if it's not. When in testing for a stone, you have to, ha especially this type of stone. I mean, this is more like of a turquoise type of stone. I'm not saying it's turquoise, but you know what I mean? On that level, it doesn't pick that up. I have a good gem tester. Yeah, my, my daughter bought me it. I mean, you can, and then even when you do test for gemstones, you don't know if it's lab created or natural unless you know how to use a loop. To look at it and determine that um, the quality and so forth. 
Yeah, 18 inch stone and bone for 30. Thanks, Barb. Um, is it carved? Is what carved? There's the bone. See what that looks like? You think a jasper? Okay, thank you. It probably is a jasper. Um, I don't know. You know, that does not pick up on a gem tester, but it will let you know that it's not glass. I don't really know. Is it carved? These, like around here it is. The bone is, is what it is here. <laughs> I don't know how to answer that. I'm sorry. Um, okay. I don't know. Uh, the stones are kind of carved. Uh, they have ridges like carved around the edges. Can you see that? And there you can kind of see it there and here. And these are disc. All right, that's that. All right, um, I'm gonna pass on that one too. Then I have cloisonne earrings here. These are nice. Yeah, they're stones. I know they're stones. Um, I just didn't know what kind they were. To be honest, I knew they were stones. So I am learning the stones. There's a lot to learn. These are cloisonne earrings. Um, but thank you. Um, red cloisonne earrings, one and one quarter inch drop. They are like a little half hoop pair. And I'll do these for, they're nice. That's red glass there. I'll do them for 18 if anybody's interested. They're double sided here. These are really pretty. They're they're very lovely earrings. Um, let me stick them back on this thing here. Uh, one's falling down. Um, no. If they are, they're plated. They're not sterling. They were in a card that said made for Brighton, but I pulled it off of their um, off the card. I don't know if they're Brighton. No, I'm not saying they are. I'm just saying they were on that card. Um, there's they these are posts, but they have a little hoop up here. Yeah, a three quarter hoop, and then they have the cloisonne they hanging from it, right there. Yeah, that's what they are. All right. Um. Oh my. Okay. There. <laughs> Yeah, they, they are hoops there, but all right, um, I'll, I'll just leave them here for a minute. I feel like I'm moving very fast, but back starting to hurt. Um, I don't even know what else to pull out. I feel like I need to pull out additional jewelry. I have carnelian and a leaf necklace. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm way off there. Okay, I'm just going to, I'm going to pass on these guys. They're nice though. I like them. I think they're pretty. Oh, that thing laying back. This not thing. That one. It's it's a nice necklace. Um, whatever I said it was selling for. That's what I'm selling it for. If you want it for that, you can have it. <laughs> that's fine. Um, okay, Gail, eighteen. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I think I yeah I do have something for you from last week too. 18 for the little cloisonne. I don't know if they're Brayton or not, but they were on a Brayton card that said for Brayton. You see that, what that looks like there? I can't see it well. They're nice either way. Um, they're pretty nice. i got to find your bag. Right, I'll just put you in another one and I'll combine them. Yeah. Um, yeah, girly game. I don't know if I, I don't think I've ever sold you before, but if you're interested, yeah, just let me know. It's fine. I mean, I don't expect any more than what I asked for. It. Um, it's 18 inches. All right, I'm going to sell these two little things. These are lovely, aren't they? They're, they're crystal. These are, um, 
they're crystal. They look handmade, I think, to me. But either way, I mean, that doesn't take anything away from them. Square and round, separated by smaller ones. And then they have the dangle on the end. These two bracelets are seven and a half to nine and a half inches. They can be worn. I'll sell them both for 14 bucks if anybody wants them. And th thank you, Gil. Congrats. Let me show you these. All right. These two little crystal bracelets. Here's the dangles. What time? Okay, so I'm in two hours. What did I say? For <laughs> Thank you. 14 bucks for both of them. There's two of them. Stuff's starting to pile up here. Ugh. Oops. It's really weird. Is all of the messages stopped coming up on my um? I'm sorry about that. I I moved off screen. I can't see them on Streamyard anymore. You want these, Keely? Thank you. They're pretty. Look, they're nice. They're in good shape too. There's um, very pretty. It's so quiet. Could you imagine if everybody talked at one time, though, how crazy that would be? Wait, is this? No, that's that. Haley. It's not Haley. Okay. Um, the bags are right by each other's. All right, I'm going to try to pick up my pace. I feel like I'm losing my... It just seems so quiet in here. It's, <laughs> it's so quiet. Because I'm, I'm talking to myself, right? This is nice. Look at this little thing. It's cute. Where's my necklace? There. Um, I, these are, these are stone. Okay. Somebody told me what kind. You're welcome. Thank you. This, uh, let me move this bone and stone. Um, it's still hanging there. I don't know why. That's sterling. This is marked 925 Mexico. That is a sterling ring. And that's sterling as well. You can tell just by looking at it right. I probably could have cleaned it. But this little necklace hair, um, it goes up towards aqua, but honestly, I it's stone, it's gemstone. I I am it could be something else, like I said. Okay, thank you, girly gamer. Um, for that necklace. Okay. I I will put your name on it. Um let me put a tag by it. I'll see your email too. But thank you. I'm call, I call it the stone and bone. All right, this necklace hair. In a minute, let me put your the stone and bone aside. Oh, free. There it is. Let me show it to you like this. I think I already did, right? It, it could use a wipe. It has some patina on it. All right, this little necklace is... Um. 16 inches with a two inch extender. I'll sell it for 26 if anybody's interested in that. It's nice, nice little necklace, I think. Lori will take that. Thank you, Lori. It's nice. Look, it's a little. They're pretty. It looks like rock candy. Do you remember? You know what rock candy is. Thank you, Barb, for for helping me. Um, sixteen. I mean, twenty six for the. I think it's aqua. It's definitely some type of gems <laughs> with sterling ring. Okay, and you have a bag. I know that. There it is 
All right, next will be, I gotta move some of these. I'm starting to power up. Um, I, I probably will go onto my box if it's not, <laughs> you know, I have boxes of jewelry, jewelry boxes. I'm not, this is like another, look at this big thing, guys. This is not a Monet. <laughs> it's a big, it's not gold, obviously I wouldn't be selling it, right? But it's a big like Cuban link or whatever you call that uh, necklace. It's pretty cool. Um, I'm not going to try selling that though. I don't think anyone will really even be interested in it, um, but I just showed it anyways. All right, I have a vintage necklace here. It's like 1950s with a gold plating, like a rhodium plating that's gold color. That's what I'm going to say about it. Look, look at the back of it. Like, that's probably called something else, right? Maybe it's... It has that thickness to it, you know, like that thick coating. Enamel, rhinestones, and acrylic. It's pretty. There's that. And I have a pair of earrings that don't actually exactly go with it, but came with it. I could show you guys that big chain if anybody wants to see it. These earrings are with it. They're acrylic and um, they're clips. And these are, these are vintage as well. But they don't match exactly, but uh, they were together. So I figured I'd offer them together. They're def both vintage. Let me give you measurements on them. Um, okay, the earrings are one and a half inches and the necklace is 15.5 inches maximum. It's it's short. Oh, I didn't give a price on it. Should I? Um, I I for the set I would do it for thirty. If nobody wants to, I mean the earrings go with it well enough, don't you think? I think it's nice. I mean, do you think they match well enough? I was hesitant to offer them, but the rhinestones are lovely on there. Or they could be crystals. They're very shiny. They have a breathing. They have a hole in the back. But rhinestones do as well. So I can't say they're crystals because of that. And I know that. But the little set is pretty. The necklace is lovely. Look at it. Oops. I mean, I'm not saying the earrings aren't either. And they're too heavy to hold up on my little thing. Because the necklace is very pretty. And it's flexible. It's not like a stiff type of thing. It's very small, though. It's 15 and a half maximum. It has the shepherd or um, J-Hulk, I call that shepherd hulk, on it. I mean, other people call it that, too, not just me. <laughs> I think it's nice. Oh, oh, the price for the set would be 30 for both pieces together. Um. And they match well enough, I think, but I don't think they are actually a set. Um, I, you know what I mean? Because I don't see any acrylic on this one. I mean, we have the, actually, there is pink. You see those? Those are little pieces of plastic, like acrylic there, all going around the little stones, rhinestones. On this, there are rhinestones in the center of these white acrylic pieces on the edges, and then it's pink enameling. Yeah, sure. I'll, I'll put it with your stuff. Thank you. It does look well enough like a set. That's how it was sold. Um, I think it matches well enough. Okay, so 30 for the this. I'm calling it the pink. I'll just call it the pink set. Thank you. And I will put it... I got it. Um, okay. Over here. Oh. Chair started tipping over. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Is there any request of anything that I may high of? Oh, look at this, guys. That's sterling and they have amethyst um, faceted beads, amethyst, and then the chips. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Jackie. And then Heshi beads. But it is sterling. It's triple-stranded pearls with amethyst. Um, 
like beads there. They are amethyst. I tested them. And then this one is all a lovely, look at that, how pretty it is, faceted amethyst. And then this is a Heshi bead with chips there. It's triple strand. And, um, sorry, I'm trying to find it. Um, amethyst pearls. Okay, 15 and a half inches. It's really pretty. Um, what did I say? 15.5 inches. Yeah, and it's three strands of, um, with pearls, amethyst, and heshi beads. And this I would I would do for 30. This is a um, toggle clasp with sterling silver. I don't see any special designs or anything on it. It's pretty, though. I think it is. You can, like, twist it or wear it separate. Um, it's a little short. I mean, 15.5 is at your collar bone, depending on your size of your neck, I guess. Let me open it and make sure that's correct. Because when I op when I measure them without opening them, I get a different measurement. And I've just discovered that. So I need to start opening things when I measure. <laughs> to make sure I'm correct, it tends to be smaller because of... We need a loop in it. It's 16 inches. Hi, Mishka. Yeah, that's 16 inches, actually, of amethyst, heshi beads, and freshwater pearls. There's the rounded, the rounded, the faceted, and these are chips of the amethyst. I think I showed that enough, right? <laughs> I'll leave it there. All right. Um, I, have one, I have a lot of jewelry here, but I'm wondering if I should... um not stop but pull other things out eventually well i'll show what i have and see what you guys think about it i have shoe clips anybody wear um shoe clips that's hair they're not a big fabulous pair i sold a nice pair not long ago um they're nice i have oh you have a gray pearl one i have i have one you made actually remember i bought i bought one off you made but it was gemstones multiple types is my lighting bad today? Um, I have a I have ring lights all around me and a lamp behind me. Is there something wrong with my lighting? You see the amethyst? That is amethyst faceted. Freshwater pearls that are a like... Yeah, I thought my lighting should be okay. And then has she beads with the chips. Okay. Maybe it looks bad on, maybe on some people's, I thought my light, I mean, I have a lot of light around me. It's very bright. It's actually making me hot. All right. So for this one, I think I said 30 bucks if anyone's interested. I've had it, oh yeah, Barb typed that in a, quite a while ago. Yeah, it's, um, we have Heshi beads and freshwater pearls as well, but I'm going to pass on it. Okay. Um, I don't know what else to show. I have this little thing. Oh, yeah. Um, it's amethyst, so yeah, it does kind of, you know, see? It is amethyst. It sometimes looks like that. Um, okay. Unless I'm wrong. Could it be garnet? <laughs> it looks purple to me. Um. It's really lovely, whatever it is. This is definitely amethyst right there, see? Um, I think it's all amethyst. I think it's the theme they carried on it, mixing different types of amethyst with heshi pearls and then just the all faceted, like, little beads. But it does kind of look like, I see what you're saying, um, have a garnet look. This is more sterling on the clasp, but this is rose quartz, um, carnelian leaves and bone, I think. I don't know for certain. All right. It's a necklace. As you can see, um, I'll give you measurements on it. It's, um, uh, 
I'm sorry. One second. I have a lot here. 26 inches. I have a lot written down. This is 26 inches. And it's a spring rink class. There are knots in between these pieces here. I didn't test the little balls here. I'm assuming they're just gold tone. But I, and this is bone or celluloid. Honestly, I, I don't know. Look at it. Probably bone, right? Do they make use anything? And this isn't extremely vintage, right? I mean, it's probably handmade. But anyways, it's a 26 inch necklace. Um, and I can't remember. There it is on here. Oh, my God. oh I. I would charge 25 for it if anybody wants it. I think it's nice. It does have like these, the like rigidy, like little gold tone balls on it as well. I'll show the little shoe clips. I'm gonna show you what I have here. We'll see what happens. With it and Oh, I have some of these eyes are nice, I think. Funny. I do have some more sterling, but I mean, not a tremendous amount. I have another ring that I pulled out. A premier design that looks, that has coral on it, which is pretty bizarre in, in itself. Um, but it really is coral. I'll show it to you. Okay, this is actually rose quartz on here. It's quartz. That's quartz, and these are carnelian stone there. And that there, I it feels like it's a bone or something, but I can't confirm what that is. But these are quartz, and that's carnelian. These pieces here, I do not know either, to be quite honest with you. It could be... Um, that could be glass, but these are actually rose quartz and carnelian leaves. Actually, carnelian gemstone leaves. All right, thank you, um, Monica. Have I have, have I sold to you before? If not, could you could you email me at the email down here? Vintage Jewelry Galore at Yahoo.com. If I already asked you that, please excuse me. I don't think I did the. Um, I just need your YouTube name, your PayPal email address, and in, in the country in which you live, just so I know how to do the shipping. But thank you. Congrats! It's a nice necklace. It's very pretty. I don't know if you registered with me before. I, I cannot remember. I'm, if you have, I'm sorry. Does anybody like shoe clips that's here? I know I have. Oh, wow. I'm like going round and round. It's my computer freezing. Okay, thank you, Monica. I saw like a circle going round and round on my... um. On the computer over here. Maybe it got frozen for just a second. I don't know. But I have, um, all right, thank you. I have these little shoe clips. These are really cool, actually. Look, they have the, like, the matte, and then this is shiny. They're made in France. These little shoe clips are bluette made in France shoe clips, two inches. Obviously, there's two. I'm going to stick this on them on here. Here's the, the mark maker's mark. Let me show you the back, actually, here. They're, they are on the back. And there it says Bluette Made in France. And they are shoe clips. You know, they have that little piece on them um, that hook, and they hook onto your shoe as such. They're cute, I think. I'm just going to hang them like that. These, they measure... Um, I'm looking at the wrong thing. They're two inches this way. I'm probably like, I don't know, a half quarter, three quarter of an inch this way or something. I didn't measure them that way. I could. But they're two inches across 
and they are approximately three quarters inches, correct? Um, up and down little shoe clips. If anybody wants them, I'd sell them for 22 bucks. They're, they're, um, they're cute. Little ribbons. There's some women actually wear these. I know that. But I don't even remember what I said on them. I'm, I think I'm starting to get tired. Thank you, you know. Thank you. For... Yeah, they're shiny on this part. They're cute, though, I think. Um, I don't wear shoe clips. I, I would if I... I guess maybe I could do something like that going to church or something. <laughs> they're, they look cute on a pair of heels. You know, if you trust yourself up. But... Yeah, you could put them on a collar too. You're correct. You could probably put one on each side, like they're kind of like a duet or something. Like, like you know, yeah. I didn't even think of that. You could wear these on a sweater or a jacket. I think they're cool. I don't know how to date what date they are. Um, they say um, bluette uh, made in France. I I did not look them up honestly, um, so I don't know the dating on them at all. But they look vintage, don't they? <laughs> Just by looking at the make the way they're made, they look vintage to me. I don't know how old the 50s, 60s. I'm not. They could be completely modern. Who knows? I don't know the Bluette shoe clip company or what kind of jewelry they made. That's something I should have looked up. But anyways, I um, will probably pass on these. Anybody? Nobody interested? I'm gonna pass. If anybody says one, I will pull them up. Let me get them off my earring holder. I don't want to destroy it. Love the new earring holders. They're fantastic. I do have a nice little, um, trying to keep track of what I've shown when I haven't. I have a nice pair of amethyst earrings here, guys. I think they're nice. Anyways, they're signed sterling on the back. And they're lovely. Look. Aren't they pretty? They just say sterling on the back of them. Nothing else. I think they're pretty. I'll leave them here for a minute. Um, they're wires. They are wires. Do you want these, Barb, or you want the shoe clips? You want the shoe clips, right? I didn't even give a price yet. Yeah, you like ribbons. Did you want the shoe clips? Am I correct? I know you like the rib the bows. You could dress them up some way. Make sure I'm, I'm correct on that before. <laughs> I think you probably wouldn't say one with the without me giving a price on the earrings. They're you know they're not going to be much, but still. Um, <laughs> shoe clips. Okay, thank you. And I said twenty two, right? All right. Okay. Oh, I got a big magnifying glass there. But these are pretty, and they're signed sterling. They're wires. Thank you for. These little earrings are um, three quarter inches, like from there down. There's what they look like. They're wires, you see. God, the shoe clips ate this apart in the back. It's a nice color of um, of amethyst there, and they are. I, I will do them for. They are sterling silver. I test them. They're beautiful. These stones are, what do you call that when they're cut like that? What's wrong with me? Um, anyways, if anybody wants them, they're 24 bucks. They're, they're really, really a beautiful color. They're like emerald cut. And, um, yeah, I think that's what you would call them. I did test them, although they say sterling on the back. Asher? Okay, that's see, Yeah, I, I don't know all those names. Um, oh, thank you, Marzana. Yeah, they're quite lovely. How much did I say on them? God, Barb. <laughs> Anna's getting tired. Um, I'm talking to myself in the third person there. I am getting tired, though, but I can't read. Okay, thank you. 
Yeah, they're nice. Um, oh, I struck paper. They're really pretty. I have a nice little necklace, too. It's a little small, though. Um, these are very pretty, though. When you see the color in them, you're, they're, they're lovely. All right. Let me get you a bag. Stick those inside. There. So it's 1025. What else? Let's keep moving. Thank you, Marzanne. Congrats. They're, they're really pretty. I have, I have this. This is not gemstone. Let me tell you that right off the bat. Um, that rhymes. It's a, it is vintage, but they're pretty. They're really pretty, but they're even nicer in person. Do you see them? They're lovely. This is a scarab bracelet. I, it's a little different with that. It does have the hieroglyphics in the back. But they are, these do not test as gemstone when I stuck them on my gem tester. So I'm, I'm saying they're glass and does have the safety chain that's fully intact that comes off. And then it's still a little scarab bracelet. Um, it's seven inches. And I'm, I'll sell it for 17 if anybody wants it. Because, yeah, me and my rhyming. My, my one nephew told me I sound like Donald Trump. Remember how he used to rhyme everything? I thought that these are cool. Like the shape of the stones are a little different than, and they look like gemstones, don't they? I mean, but they're not registered unless there's something wrong with my gem tester. Um, and it's not marked gold foil either. Um, so let's tell you that right off the bat. But it is vintage, and I think glass. Correct. It does have the little markings, like I said, and they're pretty colors. I've never seen them shaped like that. Um, I mean, I'm sure they have them and I just haven't seen it like that big. I don't know what, how to even date this, honestly. Like, not date it. Yeah, I'm going to date the bracelet. I'm getting desperate, guys. <laughs> I'm choking. Um, <laughs> I, I don't know. Whatever. I always try date, giving a date on everything in my head. Thank you, Carol. Um, I can pull the jewelry boxes out and get some more exciting things, perhaps. We'll see. Um, so this is for T. Lee. Thank you, T. Lee. I appreciate it. It's really pretty. A little pair of scarab earrings that would kind of, well, they're rounded. And they're not out now. The earring part gets hard unless I pull out the jewelry boxes. It has, like, different, like, things in them. Yeah, I've never seen them that long. Oh, good Lord. I'm sorry, guys. Did you see that? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> it's going to tip in a minute. I, I like, that's the only thing about working on a phone <laughs> is me and my um, roughness sometimes. Not roughness, but my little abrasiveness that I have. All right, let's let me go through my necklaces. I'm just let me listen to me. Yes, thank you. Thank you all. This is nice, I think. And I'm going to let it go very cheap because it doesn't have a maker's mark or anything on it. But it's vintage. And it's four-stranded. And look how cool. These are gold tone, obviously. Um, it's a nice, nice little necklace. It has a box clasp. What do they call that? I call it an inside box clasp. This is a male-female. Right? And there's another name for it that I have no idea. But it's there it is. Little ring. I'll give you the measurements and the price on that little thing. It is gold tone. Um, hold on, one. It's multi-strand. Maybe that's what it's marked as. I have like twenty-five necklaces marked down here. Um, I look, guys. I'm talking about being a little anal. Huh? I type a list <laughs> and I measure everything ahead of time. So I could just pull out that if I get too confused. I don't want to bore you guys. It, it is down. Oh God, where is it? Okay, multi-chain, 18 inches, okay? And I was going to sell it for 18 bucks. I think it's nice. You have three strands, they look different, and then you have this cool one. It's 18 inches in total length for that. Here's the back. There are no markings on it. You want that to floor? Okay, thank you. It's nice. The, the floor came in first, right? You were talking about this, right? Are we talking about the scarab? 
I'm very organized. I need to source. I need to get out there and source more, and that's what I'm going to work on. I may start going to estate sales in the rich areas of Pittsburgh. All right, <laughs> that's how you, how you want to concentrate in the better areas like Upper St. Clair. I got to start looking. Thank you, thank you, Defloor, and congrats. I have a nice Trafari necklace here too. You guys might, somebody might like. So this is multi-strand gold tone. We'll call it. Necklace, and I, I said 18 right in the D floor. I've been doing them a um, dollar per inch. Some of them I seriously did, it's just how it turned out. I don't know if you know if that was deliberate, but okay. Um, this is the Trafari. This, I think, this is nice. Look, it's acrylic. Um, um, you know, that's when you don't know what type of plastic it is, that's what you call it. Um, it's been, so is this Trafari or, yeah, it has that little thing, that little key or whatever that's supposed to be. Um, see it, you know what I'm talking about, it's gold tone, spring ring clasp, and it has these white pieces all over it, and it's long, I'll measure it for you, and let me, I mean, I have a measurement because I already measured it. Um, gold tone and white, white acrylic, 54 inches. I'm not doing this dollar per inch. I don't think it's worth that. I'll sell it for 30 if anybody wants it. It's a nice necklace, 54 inches. It's over four feet. It's like four feet, six inches. And it's in clean, nice shape. And it has a fairly nice size spring ring on it. But that's Trafari. Is it Crown Trafari? Okay, thank you. I, I just... I, I honestly, this, you know, over, um, well, somebody told me what that was. I mean, honestly, I'm, you know, fairly new seller and reseller. And I'm like, what is that? And it's Crown Trafari. I was told that actually. I have it down. It's just Trafari though, because I don't know. It is a crown. It's a little key. It looks like to me, but there it's the little mark. If anybody likes it, it is Crown Trafari, huh? Okay. Did I say 38? I No, no. Did I say 30? 30. Sorry. 30 bucks if anybody wants it. Maybe I did say, um, yeah, it's a little tiny tag. Look how cute it is. I think it's adorable. Look at it. Kind of looks like a little key, doesn't it? Or a little face on there. Goodness, it's blurry. Um, it's a little tag. I don't see the marking anywhere else on that, but I put it on the one community page that I'm, I, I am a member of, well, I can say it. I'm a member of the Hudson community. I'm sure she won't mind that. Um, on Facebook. And I asked, and there's a lady on there for a lot of information. And yeah, I said 30 and I mean, with not a lot of knowledge and she showed it to me and told me what it was actually, but I, I'll tell you the truth. I, I don't know. That's okay. I don't think anyone's interested in it <laughs> anyway. So I'll just pull it away. Um, I'll offer it another time. Probably not at Thrifty Thursday, though, honestly. I think it's worth a little more than 10 bucks. But you never know. It may be at Thrifty Thursday this week. Um, <laughs> should I be saying that as I'm trying to sell it? <laughs> it's okay. It's nice. I think it's a nice necklace. Um, I may pull out my other jewelry soon. We'll see. Um, well, not any of all right, this this is Premier Design. Okay, let me show this to you, ladies and gentlemen, if there are any here that want to speak of it. Isn't that coral, guys? I mean, it's not testing as glass on my gem tester. Dyed coral, I guess. Would that be dyed? This is a Premier Design. And I was looking at it, and they called it, it is called um, Retired Firecracker of Genuine Coral. And these are glass pieces on here, but this is genuine. It has genuine core on it. They call it the retired firecracker piece from Premier Design. But I mean, to me, whatever. It's real. I, I will sell it cheap either way. I mean, coral is what it is. Um, just in case it's not, but I'm almost more than certain that that is. Yeah, dyed. Yes, dyed coral. Yeah, because they, they do no longer take the red coral out any longer is what I was under the impression of. So yes, dyed coral. 
But they're calling it a retired piece. That just means they no longer make it, right? That's with the Premier Designs. I, I don't. They still make jewelry, I believe, right? I mean, who knows? This could be five years old. I don't know how old it is. It has the Premier Design tag, and it has a five on the back of it. It's triple strand, and those are silver tone. That is not sterling there. Yeah, let me give you a, a price. I guess I should have did that. Um, I'm I'm taking a long time here. Um. 26 bucks. It's a cool necklace overall. It's nice. It's pretty. And it's red. Yes. Oh, they're out of business. So this that's why they were calling it retired. Okay. See, I didn't know if they were out of business or not, but yeah, it's it's definitely it's died, I believe that's right. Uh girly gamer, I think you're right on that. Um, but it looks similar to a big one that I have that I sold so many, but they were bigger pieces than this. I mean, so I do know it is. I actually have a nice branch coral one behind me that I bought off of Gina. I think it's called branch. It's cool. Very cool. You want this, Gail? All right. Thank you, Gail. I'll put it off your other item. Um, I got to find your bag. I have like stuff laying around the place here. Um, yeah, I need to get my... There, I see your bags right here. So I sold that for 26 to Gail. Gail was first, is that correct? Yeah, I see her first on here. It's nice. It's one of the nicer premier designs I've ever found, actually. Um, okay, dyed coral necklace. The other pieces are, these are glass, but there's enough coral in it that it's definitely worth that, that amount of money. Okay. Yeah, I could have, but that's okay. You know, I, I probably could have got more for it this time though. Um, that's fine. I'm fine with that. That's what I wanted to sell it for. It's the price I put on it. Um, here, how about this thing, guys? Um. Anybody interested in that? This is that big necklace. It's gold toned, gold plated possibly. It looks almost real to me. It's 30 inches. It's a big, nice. You just bought the matching brace. Oh, you got a baby on there now. Are you a grandmother or did you have a baby? I don't know how old you are. That's why I'm asking that. Don't get insulted if you're too old to have a child. I mean. <laughs> Well, hey, women are having them order, but congratulations. Looks cute. I, I had a grandbaby two months ago. Um, he's he's fantastic. His name's David, and he's, oh my God, is he cute. Yes. But anyways, guys, Fame wants this big, did I say how long it was? There I go blabbing. Um, 30 inches. It's nice, and it's got some weight to it. There's the, it's a lobster claw. Obviously, and that's what the links look like. I'll sell it for 24 if anybody wants this one. Let me stick it on here. It's a nice chain. Grandbaby, cute. Little girl or boy. Um, I had a grandson, obviously, if the name David, right? He's he's really cute. It's my second grandson. Very adorable. Oh, a little girl. 113. Oh, it's a new, new baby. He was born... Oh my God, how dare me. She knew I forgot. November the 9th, day before my middle daughter. Actually, my middle daughter is um the 10th and he is the 9th. He was born the day before her. So, yeah. yeah, yeah, it's a big chain. It could be used. I mean, maybe it's too big. I don't know. <laughs> For some money to use, but it could be layered. It's a nice, it's nice and it's in good shape. There's nothing wrong with it. It's not vintage though. I can't throw a vintage tag on that. And I call myself vintage jewelry lore. Yeah. All right, let me barb. Now I need to get you a new bag. What's that say, sister? What? Who's booth chat? Is, are you... Sister, I don't know what that means. Is that some kind of bad thing on my chat here? Yeah, here they come. Here they come again. Goodbye. Goodbye, whoever you are, that name. And Booth Jessica, um, oh my lord, I, are you a fake person? 
Yeah, I got to put it online. I mainly sell on Mercari myself. I even use myself off eBay. I'm going to tell you what. And this is taboo of me to say this. I know that I don't like you. I do not like eBay. Okay. I'm used to Mercari and I like them and I sell pretty well on there. Although I haven't been putting enough of my jewelry up. I've really got to get moving with it. i be rather, um, not lazy, but not as enthused. Oh, I have a celluloid one to show you guys. I'll pass on that. I don't think anybody wants that. That's why I removed it. <laughs> like, I do have a little ring I can offer. I have two. I, I have him. Nobody's going to want this. I've offered this like three times and nobody ever wanted it. Um, It's a little owl. I think they're rather common, honestly. When I bought them, I didn't realize it. But isn't it? It's cute. It's small. I think it's only five and three quarters or something for him. But I'll offer this one. Gucci style, you think? I guess I need to learn how to rename things. I'll put it on my, I'll put it on Mercari like that. Thank you. Mark has passed. If anybody ever, you know, people don't get on these often, but if they do, they can email me. That's seven and three quarter inches. This is Marcasites. It's like Marcasites in the center. It's sterling. It's a pretty little ring. Look. You have Marcasites on this end in the middle and over here. It's looking blurry, but let me show you the back of it. It is marked. I'll tell you what it's marked in a minute because I wrote it down. There's it's marked 925, I think. Um, marked 925 in MC or CW. I, I, I don't know which one it is. Oh, I didn't mean it like, what did I say? Well, I didn't know. I, I sh well, maybe. Does anybody like the little Mr. Owl? I'll measure him and I'll show him to you. Yeah, I guess you're right. You're right, Carmen. I mean, nobody wanted them last time, as I said. Really? Why two? Okay. <laughs> uh, okay, the Marcus Light Ring, guys. Seven. Oh, Lord, I can't remember. Did I say seven and three quarters on this? I'm, I'm moving very slow. Um, Yeah. It's like barely right above eight inches. I mean, eight size eight. But anyways, it's Marcus Lights and Sterling Silver. And it's, if anybody wants it, it's 24 bucks. It's a pretty little ring. Let me show it to you on my little chubby little finger. I'll, I'll pull the owl out and show them to you in a minute. Good night, Polly. But the Marcus site's 24 and it's it's really pretty, actually. That's here. I'll put it on here. <laughs> Good night, Polly. Have a good night. I'll show you guys the owl in a minute. Um, this is a pretty ring, I think. Don't you think? I like it. I would like. I like to wear rings on my thumb. Don't ask me why. <laughs> but it's my favorite area for a ring on my finger. Is my thumb. I was a thumb sucker until my teens. <laughs> I don't think that has anything to do with it, but who knows? Maybe it is. I, I like my thumbs. <laughs> They're my favorite finger. Is a thumb a finger? No, it is. All right. I'll show the owl in a minute. Just I'm probably going to pass on this. Let me stick it on the black one. Oh, is that a new owl? Let me, I'll have to check it out. Thank you. I, I like Mercari. I'm comfortable with it. It's where I started and they've been, they've been good. They refund money. Um, if somebody rips you off or something, let me stop blabbing. Yeah. These are square in the center. You have four of them. And then over on the sides, there are Marcus sites as well. They are round. You see that like over here. Let me show you the underbelly of it. There's the back, which is basically sterling back there. Just more other layers, levels. It's pretty already I'm going to pass on. I don't think anybody wants it. Um, I mean, maybe in later. If anybody's interested, you can let me know. Yeah, 
I know. I, I, I'm not going to deny the fact that I've become quite lazy with posting my stuff and I need to start posting things a little more often. Yeah, Haley's 22. How old are you? 32? That's, you're still young. That's okay. You're allowed to be young. It's good to be young. We've all been there um, at one point in our life, right? Um, okay, so the owl is five inches. He's size five, for love of God. Um, he's cute, though. Look, he has abalone in his belly. This is some kind of turquoise up on his head, inlaid, I think. <laughs> yeah, looks like it. See? And then um, onyx, and I believe that's coral and mother of pearl on his wings. So cute. Um, one leg stuck out. He is tiny. He's a tiny ring. He is a five. I can barely get him on my ring finger with the weight gain. My fingers have been obesely not obese. I've gained a lot of weight, guys, and I, oh, it's awful. For, whatever. It's it, it does not compromise my health yet. Let me measure him up and down. Let you guys know how big he is. He's adorable. I would do him. I would do him. <laughs> I'll do him for forty though. <laughs> Please don't leave, okay, guys. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, forty bucks if anybody wants some. <laughs> it's not funny, okay. You can fit on me of small fingers. Yeah, you look like you'd be small enough for him. My fingers used to be like a four and a half with the weight gain. He's like skin, skin tight. Yeah, yeah, she can have him. Okay, 40 bucks. Is that okay with you? He's worth, I think he's worth it. He's sterling. And I'm sorry for saying that, guys. Please don't get insulted. If you, you didn't even know what I meant, half of you probably, right? <laughs> Anna's evil. No, I'm kidding. Not evil. I'm silly. Yeah, I'm joking. All right. So, yeah, he's, he's cool. Okay. He's adorable. You'll love him. I thought he was fantastically adorable. With the swelling on my fingers, he's not getting on comfortable enough. Yeah, what a time to come in <laughs> looking for a date no, I'm kidding. with the with the owl. Okay, somebody that's bad. Hopefully it doesn't go bad on my algorithm. <laughs> okay, Jackie for forty for Mister Owl. Mister Owl, I call my cat my cat my daughter's cat Mister Meow because he meows all the time. He is a Mister Meow. Oh, yeah, that's really vulgar. I'm sorry. I was kidding. I just thought it sounded funny. <clears throat> <laughs> okay. One and three quarter inches. This is gold cool, filled. This is, I'm right, right. Thank you. And congratulations. Boom. Here I go. I just move on, right? Um, Without even thinking about it. This is Charles Reese. Gold filled. 12 karat gold filled celluloid or ivory mm. um seriously i don't know i'm not gonna tooth it it's thin and light okay in here let me give you a good view of it there's the mark it's crco which is um charles reese it's one in seven it's almost two inches just shy of two inches over 1.75 in between there. I'm really terrible at the um, measurements on that stuff, so I'm not going to give you one, um, <laughs> like an exact, but it's close to two inches, I can tell you that. And it's it's pretty nice. Gold filled, it's pretty, I think. Let me stick it on a pillow. Yeah, I just really am a little bit bad sometimes. Can't help it. I mean, I'm a nice person, but sometimes I'm crazy. Um, 24 bucks if anybody wants this gold filled. I think it's pretty. And that is like a, kind of like a brushed gold look. I guess they call that matte there. Look, it's got some cute little details to it. Um, okay, there you go. I hope that didn't insult anybody. If it did, I'm really sorry. Okay. I was kidding. Obviously, it's an owl ring, right? Um, hopefully, my friend's not on here. I'd be like, terrible. What a terrible woman. 
no okay Haley. it may be ivory no it's not i think it's celluloid i saw some of his jewelry was ivory but he also is celluloid so we will say charles reese this is a piece of celluloid it could be old enough for that right with the gold filled although i don't know when he start making jewelry guys <clears throat> then do my homework i did enough homework to think that it's definitely worth 24 it's probably worth more okay so the crco is for Haley. thank you Haley. um that's like it's a rose i guess it's a pretty little pin it's really lovely actually this is a good good thing um to add to your collection if you collect it's nice i have one that's made from him that is like a morning birch i kept that one okay let me put this in your bag let me find you where are you you have a bag in here okay well, actually, i got to be careful with this, so I will put it back with a stand. Something that delicate, I don't like sticking in with other jewelry. Um, it's messy. All right. I've shown a lot of this. I do have... I showed that ring. I showed frog earrings that were for children that I tried selling. No, they're cute. Okay. Um, oh, wait. That's for Florida. Does anybody like this? I think this is really pretty. Isn't that nice? Crystals look like it's small. I mean, it, I my wrist is six and it fits me and it could it has some room to move. Like it could go up to a seven, I would think. Maybe bigger. I don't know. I guess I can measure it like this way and tell you what that says. Does that make any sense? It's hard to tell because of the crystals. I mean, look at it. I think it's pretty. I'm going to do it cheap. If anybody wants it, they can have it. Um, for... Is this the right one? Oh, I measured on the inner part. It's two and one half inches. And I'll sell it for 15 bucks if anybody wants it. It's really pretty. A faceted crystal bangle. Yeah, this is like a cuff kind of. It's not completely closed. Um, it's really pretty though. The color is like a, like a smoky gray. Very shiny and lovely, actually. Look, and they have it wired. Whoever made this wired it. All these crystals are wired onto this. I thought it was pretty. Could get your use out of it if you wear this type of thing. Um. I sold the carved rose. Are you talking about that little one? Nelly, I sold that one. To um, Haley bought that one. What other ones did I have? Anything else? I have Crown Trafori. It may have been high on the price. Liz Claiborne. I may have been. Sometimes, you know, when you um, when you like things, I sometimes feel like maybe the price is too high. I don't know. I have to research it. It's definitely older. And hi, Melly. Thank you for coming. All right, let me put it on a pillow or something, or my arm, maybe. Is that a little gaudy, guys, you think? Probably. I think it's nice. This was in my video when I pulled, when I pulled out of the box. I go through it. I actually found a nice laboratory um, with, I think, aqua on the other side um, out of my jewelry that sits in the corner of my room. I don't know if you guys watch my video. I don't expect you guys to. Everybody to. You get busy and it's hard. But I, that was nice. It's sterling and it's laboratory and um, I think it's aqua on the other side. I have to test it further before I sell it. But we'll pass on this. It is pretty. I think it's lovely. But it takes a certain kind of person to want to wear this, I think. I'd wear it. Depends on where I'd be going, though. Um, I'm running out of jewelry. I guess I'm going to be ending it soon. Not yet. Don't go. <laughs> this is a little cuff. Yeah, yeah. I found, well, the one was Amber. Um, it's fake. The one, I think. I mean, then I hear that it doesn't all float. Okay. But it looks like it has oats in it. So I'm kind of leaning towards it's not real because it looks a little weird. I don't know. I'll test it further. I, I got to be safe to make sure it not. And I mentioned that in my video too. I'm not 
trying to tell people, hey, this is how you test it. It's me and my journey, and I know I'm not perfect, and I make mistakes like everybody else does. But, you know, that's just, I mentioned that in there. Not that, but I'm just saying. Okay, it's a little Druthy, and this is base metal silver tone. Okay, um, it's two and a half inches. It's not marked. It's like it's hammered. A hammered metal with that jersey in the middle. It's, I think it's nice. I'd sew it two and a half this way in here. I, I don't feel like squeezing that or pulling it. Hold on. Oh, for God's sake. Oh, you have to put it like up here and get it on, like up over the hand. Now I'm going to have a hard time getting it off now. All right. But anyways, it's, let me make sure it's two and a half. Because honestly, that was very, felt big on my wrist. Um, no, it is two and a half. My, I mean, so up to a seven inch wrist or bigger, probably. I, I really don't know, honestly, on that, how people rate that. But it's two and one half inches across. Anyways, if anybody wants it, it's 15 bucks. It's hammered, silver tone. It's not sterling. But there is a purple colored jersey. I've got a cat rubbing on my feet. Yeah, I do price stuff I like high, like my ring that I don't think I really wanted to sell to my price. You know what, though? I think it's a vintage Navajo. I'm not an expert on that, but I've seen things similar looking to that that are. Oh, my. Three people want that. Who, who was first? Was it Tea Leaf? Somebody help me. Help. I think it was the Druzy. I said 15, right? And I think that was T. Lee first. It's pretty. All right, for um, it's Mr. Meow. <laughs> he's a black cat. He's really cute. He's he's the one that gets on a piano at night and plays it. All right, all right. Thank you, T. Lee. Um, I just wanted to make sure it was I had the right person. But yeah, he climbs up on the piano and uh to wake me up at like four AM is it's if I don't have I have extreme insomnia. I don't really sleep very often. Uh, very well. I do sleep. But I have to take a nap sometimes if I can. Thank you. Oh, I do. I, I'm helpful a little bit. I'm glad. I'm trying to learn. I go, you know, I go, I, I flock to the people I know can teach me too. I'm not going to lie. I go to, you know, um, there's a few, there's one lady who just started selling it has, um, her name's Dana and she has like some of the jewelry. Like, it's the type of stuff I'm trying to learn about, you know what I mean? And, um, and of course Dawn, we all know that, but I, it's hard. It's years of experience to learn. All right, let me sell these two together, see if any, any small wristed chicks here. I'll be doing an APR video eventually. All that is is me going over to jewelry and saying what date I think it is. It's basically it, but they, they, um, I've gotten a lot of subscribers off of those ones, actually. This is sterling silver, nine grams, and this is brass. These are small. So you, you need to be, you know, these, I have six inch and I know a lot of you ladies do. So, I mean, are they too dainty? I don't know. I like small jewelry. So they measure a little smaller than average, but, um, let me tell you what they measure. Um, yeah, these are two and a quarter inch. They're not that much smaller than average, but I think, and this is nine grooms. Um, and this one is, I didn't weigh it, it's brass. I would measure the, I, I mean, if anybody wants some nine grams of sterling in this brass, I'll do them both for 22 bucks if anybody likes them. They are a small piece. You have to like small jewelry, um, to wear them. Well, six inch, it would fit. I'm at six inch, but it depends on if you like the dainty looking jewelry on yourself. You know what I mean? I don't know. You know, I, I do. I like small jewelry. I'm a more of a dainty type of jewelry person. I do like it a big, big jewelry occasionally as well. I can't say I don't. Okay, Haley, they're yours. I thought you were supposed to stop spending or you. <laughs> they're worth that. This is nine grams alone. It's a nice little bangle. 
or what cuff I don't know what you what do you call those? They're not quite bangles or open bangles. All right, two I'll just put two bracelets and toss them in your bag. All right, I'm moving along. Do I have any I'm running out of jewelry. I'll be done soon. But thank you and congratulations. <laughs> These are sterling marcasites, onyx and mother of pearl, little hoopy things, earrings here. Let's see. I think I'll do these really cheap. Let me see. 18 bucks if anybody wants them. They are three quarter of an inch. They are like a half hoop pair. I guess do you call that a half? Yeah. Let me see if there's a hallmark in it. I don't know. Yeah. I tested them. They look like they might have like a VD in them. I <laughs> Seriously, the initials BD. Let me. God, I'm getting tired. Oh, I think I need to go to sleep. Seriously, have you ever not slept and your mind starts feeling like you start feeling crazy and it's dying off in here too? Um. All right. These are like a one half hoop. They're post three quarter inches. Eighteen bucks if anybody likes them. The market sites are all there. And the mother, that's mother of pearl on onyx. So you have marcasites one, two, three, four levels of marcasite, two of onyx, and one big mother of pearl in the center. God, I've been on three hours, guys. Hey, Robin, you still here? <laughs> I'll check someone or my necklace. I'll email her. <laughs> um, yeah, I just sleeping's wicked. I was up at 4.30 talking to my, um, to one of, one of the ladies, Jackie, you still on here? She obviously doesn't sleep either. Um, 4.30 in the morning. We're having a, okay, thank you, Steve. And we're having a conversation at 4.30 a.m. Um, through messenger like shit might be sleeping yes thank you thank you hoops we'll call them hoops all right i'm i'm down to the very end i don't know if i should keep going or not i could pull other jewelry out but it's been three hours it's a long time huh? thank you thank you i mean i i have this isn't that cute somebody told me what this is called it's not sterling. You see how it looks all black in the middle? They like treated it to deliberately make it look. This is pewter, I believe. Yeah, I just wake up all hours in the night, every two hours. Oh my God, until 8 a.m. Okay, this is a little pin. <laughs> Guys, you see that? Thank you. Thank you, Dawn. Thank you very much. A posy holder. Yeah, and that's what the, and it's really adorable, but it's pewter. It's not sterling, I can tell you that. Um, it is very adorable. Um, let me try to find it. Because I don't know what I called it. Uh, let me just measure it and throw a price on it. I mean, oh God, my list is a mess. You know, do I have to measure it? Why am I so anal like that? This is about two inches, guys. Do you want to know the inches on inches on and I can give it to you? Um, can't find it. Okay. It's a little over two inches. I was, here it is. Sorry. It's really cute. I was going to sell it for 14 if anybody wants it. Put a little flower in there, I guess. What did you say it was? It was a. Yeah, it's cute. Fourteen, Gail. You want this? Gail was um the only one that said anything great. I think. Thank you. Thank you. Gail was first. She heard me before the typing went up. Um, that's correct, right? It's adorable. Thank you. I wrote want on the paper instead of your name. Posy. Yeah, it's really cute though. Like you can literally, like you pin it on your clothing and put a flower in it. 
Okay. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Thank you. And Kale does have a bag, right? Yeah, right here. All right. I could show more jewelry. Why not? Um, I just don't know what I have here that you guys might want to see. It. Let me pull something a little more interesting out, maybe. I'll be right back. Let me go get a jewelry box. One that I don't care much about. <laughs> That means to draw, not that I don't care about it, but one that I'm willing to sell, should I say, the jewelry out of. Some of them are mine that I don't want to sell yet. Does not mean it will not happen. I don't know, do I have any particular interest? I mean, I don't have anything out of, like, amazingly out of this world or anything, so don't think that. Um, I do have some nice stuff in here, though. Well, this is cute, little micro mosaic uh, instrument. Mic on there from Italy. Look how it's Yeah. I know it's not. Yeah, I can't. It's, some of them are things I'm trying to collect. Um, or I don't know what it is. That type of thing. I'll be right back though. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm moving around here. I was seeing if maybe I could pull something. More exciting out of a box, <laughs> like a musician. Right? Um, what do I have? I have made beer, but I can't sell any of that until I do my video. I'm collecting it, I'm trying to get a collection of made beer. Um, oh, it's all behind me. Oh my, Lord mercy. I'm tired. I do have some watches without batteries. Are you guys interested in that? Maybe let me just show you what I have and see what you think. Yeah, I can't take that stuff. It knocks me out for days. Isn't that cute? This is something Mike would like. I know that if he doesn't have it. Um, it's adorable. It's made in Italy. It has a little C class like thing. It's a it looks a little rough on the back, you see that, but it's fantastic. It's adorable. And what kind of instrument is that, guys? Mandolin? Is that what that is? People are leaving. This is the best time, guys. No, I'm joking. <laughs> it's adorable. And I think it's a mandolin. It's like an inch and a half. Let me get my tape measure. It's on the floor. I, I do like to get measurements. It honestly bothers me if I don't. A lute. Oh, okay. Thank you. This is one and three quarter inches and it's adorable. It says signed Italy and it looks, it's pretty, it's intact on the front. I don't see, wait, let me make sure of that. Cause I'm going blind and I don't want to lie. Looks like everything's there. I don't know. I don't know what a good price on this. Um, My daughter doesn't play this instrument. She 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 frequent messes around with a lot of instruments. Um, the bait, my little one. Really tiny. Yeah, it's little. It's like an inch or something. It is tiny. They're always small, aren't they? Aren't mosaics always small? Or holy shit, fell over, it fell on my leg. Thank God. They're always tiny. It's one and three quarter inches. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Um, I think I'm getting tired. I don't know. Whatever. Um, I, I don't know. I don't even know what it's worth. I really like it. So maybe it's one that I... All right. Um, okay. How much? <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to sell it. Um, it's unique. And it's pretty fantastic, actually. I would sell it for 30 if anybody's interested in that. It's a unique piece. And it's lovely, and who knows, even may play the mandolin in the future. Or the lute, whatever it is. You want it, Steven? You can have it. I don't need it. All right, good. Thank you. Oh, at least I can find another one, and the child does not play it yet. I do have a guitar for her. Um, she plays the guitar. Thank you. It's really cute, actually. Um... 
and I will put it nearby. I have a bag for you, and I get you a bag out. And that's a, I'll put it right here for now, over here. Again, well, you, I don't think you need anything real big in your bag. Um. Okay, thank you. Oh, you want me to send it to Mike? Yeah, good idea, because he, he'll like that. Let me write that on. I figured he would really like that. Um. Okay, let me write that on here. Yeah, it's adorable. It's a different one. Um, all right, so I'll, I'll send you the invoice and then I'll, I have his address. I've sold to him a few times, a couple of times at least. All right, the watches I have do not have batteries in them. A, it's a risk. No, I'm joking. They probably work though. This is a nice one. This is Joan Rivers. Thank you, Stevie. You know, I know, I know I've heard of them, but I don't know what they are. Honestly, this is a Joan Rivers classic, classics quartz. It has little diamond chips or rhinestones in there. I don't really know. And that is nice of you to send that to him. It should make him happy. There it is. There's her hang tag. And it's that. It hangs off of hair and it has like, that is rounded out. You see that? So it magnifies it. Let me see if, I, let me try to ring, wind it up. Yeah, I really liked it, but I do not need to keep that stuff. I don't necessarily collect it. Like I said, it was if, I mean, anticipation, maybe the daughter will start playing an instrument, but I kind of die. <laughs> I do try to keep her stuff like that I know that is for her. But here, let me show this to you. It's cute. I did not change the battery on it, though, but it unscrews her. Mm -mm. Not right now, maybe later. Um, I think that's, let me show that to you. It's a hint. Huh. I'm afraid to ship it. I don't like, and it, rhinestones all around it. Okay, Joan Rivers Classics, it says. Magnified end. Do not have a battery in it. But it looks brand new, so usually, seriously, 90% of the watches work I pick up, but that's no guarantee, you know that. 29 inches on the chain. It's a nice one. I should, if, if I don't sell it tonight, I'll get battery and try it and then bring it back. But it's a nice Joan Rivers that feels weighted. It feels decent quality. But on that, um, this piece is like an inch a little over. Chain's 29, like I said. I would sell it for 30 if anybody likes this and wants it. I didn't do a price check on it, to be honest, but it looks and feels like it's worth that to me. Let me hang it up. It's pretty. It's future vintage. Yeah. Yeah, probably. Um, so much Joan's stuff could possibly already, I don't know when she started making the jewelry, honestly. I have no idea. Yeah, it's a, it's a watch. This is actually a watch that, ha you see that? It's domed like a magnifying glass. I, you know, I'm sure you knew that because I mentioned it did not have a battery. Um, I did not buy the battery. The jeweler, um, I need to start changing my own batteries. I can't rely on the jeweler any longer. <sighs> He's not in the guy, the jeweler up the street, or I need to find a new one, you know. But I'll just leave that sit there for now and find something else. I do have other watches, but honest, none of them have batteries. I even ate uh, 17 Jules one in here, too. It's a nice one. I don't want to sell it though. I got to get the mechanism checked in and I don't want to sell something that can potentially not be winding properly. I'm talking about the 17 joules. Look, it's pretty nice though. This. That's really pretty. It's 17 joules one. And that's not a high joules, but it's uh, still Swiss made. It's nice. All right. I'm going to take, I'm going to move this. We'll pass on this. I don't think anyone's interested. I'm pulling another watch out as I'm going there. <laughs> I'll look for, um, yeah, I'm not sure. This is a nice, well-made piece. Though it's, I mean, most of her jewelry is, I guess, right? This one just feels, this piece on it feels nice quality. I'll get a battery in it and bring it back at some point. Let me see. 
Yeah, I'm not real sure about her stuff. There's my cat back there. The orange one's behind me now. That's fur for. Yes, thank you, Paul. Um. I don't know. I don't know what to pull out. I never read. This is like the longest I. Well, I'm not close to the longest I've ever been on. Um. I don't know. I have some glass jewelry here. Nothing. I keep it all together. I don't know. Um, I'm, I'm going to cast it out of that. Actually, let me see what I have in like different containers laying back there. Um, I don't know who all is left here, but I have. I already tried selling this at one point. Oh, wait. wait, wait. Let me show you this. Oh, this is lovely. I probably should check the, um, I don't think it's sterling. I'm going to say it's not, but look, I think it's nice. I like it. You know, I, I like kind of odd looking necklaces. Um, not odd, but different. I like uniqueness and like simple, but unique. I had some of the bees. I'd gotten some off of Steven actually I bought a big bunch of brooches and I sold all those and made a lot of my money back just off the bees most of it it was so one time I mean they, they sell good well people like them this is like that's like a lamp work bead and I think this is all glass um I didn't test it honestly but it looks like glass doesn't it we'll call it glass yeah I think so that doesn't look like stone to me just by looking at it um you can tell. It's nice, though, I think. She did use Swarovski in her stuff. Her stuff's nice. Joan Rivers jewelry. <clears throat> Especially my daughter wanted one of the bees. My oldest daughter, she she liked it. She wears them on her lab coat when she works. Um, yeah, the Joan bees are cool. I found in a couple of nice Joan Rivers pins on brooches online, too. And I, I sold it. Um, I'm not, one of them got stolen. I had the beehive one where they were bees sitting on a beehive, like a little beehive. Um, yeah, that is a lamp work. And I'm um, sorry, I'm supposed to be selling jewelry, huh? These are glass seed beads and some round pieces. I don't know if anybody would really be interested in this, honestly. But, I mean, they may be, so I'm showing it. We'll see. Figure I'd offer it. It's nice. We got pink, blue, and like a white. And then, I don't know. Oh, let me measure it. I'll just offer it. There's one lamp work, and the other ones are like carved glass. And um, this looks like kind of like a, like a Murano style right there on it. And the other ones are like swirled glass. It is, it's six, 17 inches with the three inch extender on it. And the little tassel that hangs on the bottom is three inches. I think it's really pretty. Yeah, it's different, isn't it? It has a lobster claw clasp back there. That's glass. Anyways, if anybody likes it, um, I think it's fantastic. I'll sell it for 20 bucks. Is that a, that's, um, that's silver tone. I don't believe the findings are silver on it, but there are caps on these and there's all the stones are set, the glass, not stones. I believe this is glass. I'm not going to call it stone. Um, doesn't even have to look a stone to me. It looks like glass, right? These ones up here possibly could be, but I don't know. My hands look a little bit <clears throat> discolored from holding much in jewelry. I mean, from touching it. All right, I, I, if we're, 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 we're not dwindling, dwindling, but we're down to 38. Um, any requests from anything that I have that you know I do that I'm willing to see? I just don't know. I feel like my inventory is mixed up everywhere. I don't know where to, where to go with it. Um, but uh, this one is 20 if anybody likes that. What else didn't I show? Who's these? Oh, those, those are... 
Yeah, I'm, it's getting late. I've been on here a long, long time. Um, you want to see the whole necklace? Let me show it to you. Here, it's, those are glass. They almost look like an AB shine on them, the beads. And I'll, I'll show it to you on the breast, on the uh, thing again, Emily. There's that, like, little Murano, and these ones are carved. That looks like lamp work. And then the tassel is the seed bead pieces again. There's the tassel has glass beads hanging off the bottom. I can lower my camera down. I'm trying to show the whole thing. It's maybe I can hang it better differently like this back a little bit, I guess. Yeah. There you go. It dripped. It's an, I think it's a nice necklace. I've had it for a while. I've never worn it. I have these things and I hang them and I look at them. Yeah, I think it's handcrafted. I like unique pieces. This is probably like one of a kind. And I like this. Can't believe I sold Haley my one necklace. She's still here, Haley. <laughs> you can have it. She'll like it. It's a nice necklace. It's quite different. That necklace I sold Haley. I loved. I, I Googled that for like seven months. All right, thank you, T. Lee. This is nice. It is very pretty. Look at it. It's different. But, um, yeah, the other necklace, I just don't know what it is. The one I showed them with the pink and all that on there. Hey, looks like something good to me. I just don't know who made it. Thank you. This is a, oh, we'll call it glass. Just glass necklace. All right. Yeah, it's really pretty. Thank you for your help, Borg. I appreciate you very much for helping me. And I haven't got harassed that much tonight by him. <laughs> by the bots. It's not even really harassment. Everybody gets that. It's people trying to, like, like in different countries, for the most part, trying to steal your information. No, it's, you can have it. You can have it. Which Trafari, this one, it's got it. Um, yeah, let me show it to you. That's fine. Um, you can have it, Haley. It's pretty. I'd be, if you're going to wear it, especially, I'd like to see somebody wear it. Um, I don't wear it. I don't go anywhere. I mean, I'm going to start. I keep telling myself that. Here it is. This is Rhodia. It's Crown Trafari copyright. It's already and plated in 1955 69. Let me spoo the dates off. That's approximate. Okay. Um, <laughs> That's when the hallmark, it was in effect by, as far as I remember, I mean, I'm pretty sure I'm right. But um, that's the number that's stuck in my head. There is one that kind of looks yellow. Let me see which one it is. I just want to point that out. I don't want to sell something without identifying it. See that? Kind of looks a little discolored. What? What? The Crown Trafari necklace? Oh. Uh, not the pin? Okay. All right, the necklace. Um, Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for stopping me. <laughs> I'm glad I looked out at the computer because I could have went on for a few minutes there. Um, one second. Yes, I have it. This necklace is pretty. It's I believe it's glass and crystal combo though. Um, it has this the white metal necklace. Are you talking about this one? How do you guys all know what he's talking about? I don't know if it is or not, Jackie. I don't know if it's supposed to be like it or not. That's why I pointed it out. Perhaps it is, or somebody could have glued it back in. I don't I don't know. Oh, the white metal one. Or is that what you want us to white metal one, Steven? How does girly gamer know that? Okay. There's this one. <laughs> I guess maybe he said that and I missed it. Yeah, I should be wearing my jewelry for everything. Oh, this one right here. You mean this one, the gold tone, and this is acrylic. I'm calling it acrylic because I don't know what kind of plastic it is, and that's safe. This one of the tag with the little key on it, or whatever that is. Well, a little crunch of tag. White rectangle. So, hey, guys. You guys all know this because I, I must have missed that up there. Um, Gold tone, and it has these. That's what's on it. It's in great condition. It's a spring ring clasp. See that? And there's the little key. Okay. I forget how much I said for this. Let me look because I still written down. 
on front of me. It is it's Crown Trafori Gold Tone and White Acrylic 54 inches. I was selling it for 30 bucks. And it's really messy there. Let me lift that up. The, there it is. It's a nice necklace. You want this, Marzina? Oh, or Stephen. It's Stephen. Marzina was just saying the price. Thank you. You were reminding me. Yeah, it was 30. All right. It's nice. It's a nice necklace. It's very long. It's over four feet, four feet, six inches. All right. Thank you. I'll put it in your bag over here. I'm sorry. I had a number of Trafari things in front of me. Um, Okay, let's call it the long necklace. Yeah, I pulled two other ones out before that. Um, all right, I what time is it? I've got a couple more minutes. I just don't know what to show, honestly. Like the um, inventory is down a little bit, and um, yeah, thank you, thanks, uh, Stephen. I need to get out sourcing. Um, you know how that is. Oh, I get. You know, you run a, I mean, I have jewelry here, but I don't know what I would pull out and try. So, some of it has to be checked, you know how that is. I have to see what it is and so forth. So, um, I might end it at that. Unless there's any other requests. I mean, the jewelry I picked out, I had this Monet. This is acrylic, definitely, I believe. And it has this class on it. Now, it looks different than the one they had in the 70s that they made. Is there a different one? I really don't know. I'm not an expert. But this is a Monet long acrylic with gold tone, the gold tone balls. It's definitely vintage. I don't know how old it is, though. That doesn't look like the one. I think it's an old. Let me see if the homework looks like the homework. Hold on. Okay. This may be older. I don't know to clasp though, guys. It's different than the one from 1976, but this is marked Monet on here without a copyright. I don't know if that means anything. I cannot say it does. I will not say it does, but it looks, doesn't it look older to you? I mean, if people, what do you think? All right. Let me just offer this and see if anybody wants it. It's a Monet white acrylic 54 inch necklace. Don't know how old it is. That's definitely not the 1976 tag, though. Um, good night. Good night, Millie. Yeah, I hope I can get some rest. I got to eat before I go to sleep, which is bad. I'm trying to lose weight. Oh, I'll come on and say goodbye to you guys. I probably look rough now. <laughs> All right, that's Monet. If anybody wants it, it's 54 inches. I believe it is vintage. I believe it's. That is not the 1976 class. I cannot say it's mid-century, but it looks like it to me. I could be wrong, whatever. I don't want to take, be deliberately lying. So I will say I have no idea, but I think it is. Okay. You think 70s? Okay. All right. Okay. Thank you, Barb. Barb would know. She's been collecting this stuff um, longer, much well, longer than me. And she knows it. Okay. So we'll say 70s. All right. Or 80s. It could be 80s too then, right? I guess they did re bring the acrylic out. I, I don't know. I haven't been in a book in a long. Let me give you a price. Yeah. Uh, 28 bucks if anybody wants it. I think it's nosh. I thought it was older than that, but I maybe not. I don't know what I look like right now, guys. I don't like it matters, right? I'll, I'll go give it for it. I don't really care. I just feel like I've been through something. <clears throat> All right. Um, I'm going to, I, I'll probably, you want that for 28? Okay. I'll put it with your stuff. Let me. Long Monet. Acrylic component. Acrylic necklace. Um, acrylic Monet. Long acrylic Monet for 28, I said. Right, guys? All right, we're back up to 40. If I had, I just don't want to sell you guys. With the attempt to sell you guys, what you may like. I do have some stuff over here, but I mean, like gem necklaces and stuff. I those are all my bedroom. Um, I ain't planning on selling any of them. You know, I lost my custom-made ring, guys. I can't find it. Isn't that terrible? 
I have a Brera, but I'm not bringing that out. I, I sold most of that other jewelry, believe it or not. Okay. Okay. That's good. And I'll, I'll give you a total for the rest. But um, I guess I can end it at this. I, I don't know of anything else to sell you guys. <laughs> I have a few things laying here. But um, if anybody goes back and they see anything I did not sell, except for this, I'll probably keep this now. I, I really like it. and I like it. I asked for a lot for it. But, Barb, thank you. I'm going to. You actually won it, won it? Or you mean you bought it? Because that's a, I never give anything away. I'm sorry, guys. Not deliberately cheap or anything. It's just, I will start. I've got to get to myself situated. Well, that sounds nice. On what auction? All right. Let me let me move you guys forward. Um, I'm going to. I like to say goodbye camera forward. I mean, that's a good idea. Why not? Right. Let's bring it face forward. Don't be shocked. Okay. <laughs> It's right under my chin. That's not a good look. Um, all right. I look rough now. Huh? All right, guys. That's about it. What? Which one are you talking about? Was this a... Oh, wow. You can see it in my head. Oh, good God. All right. I'm tired. What auction was it? All right. You'll have to, um, who, uh, you'll have to let me see it. I don't know whose auction you're talking about. I guess I wouldn't know. Um, all right, guys, my hair, I look rough, but thank you. Yeah, I'm tired. I didn't sleep last night. Look at my eyes are dark. And I'm a piece you didn't like. What piece that I like? Oh, this little thing. That? It's just a little ring. <laughs> it's just a little ring. It's, I think it's, I don't know, it's vintage. I can't say where it was made up, but the, um, this looks like, it looks like the world. Do you know what I mean? When you see it from far away, the turquoise is green and blue. It's very nice. Yeah, I decided I'd keep it. Um, oh, okay, yeah, yeah. I went to someone, a new auction place. I got a little Florenza, but not one auction house, but a man named John, I think his name is. Look, little Florenza box. You know, I like the Florenza. I have some that I keep. I sell it too, but it's cute. I got that, and I got this little rhodium plated ring from him. I forget his name. John something, I think. Emily sent me to him. Emily, are you on here? Um, I love the little box. It's perfect to put a nice ring in or something, huh? It does. Yeah, I really like it. And I actually love, I cannot find my custom-made ring. I'm really upset. It wasn't that expensive, but it was um, expensive enough. What's it? Morata from Bray. Oh, from that movie. <laughs> the daughter. Yeah, it's a nice ring. I, I, I guess I will keep this for now. Um, Until I find my custom made ring, I think it's under my car seat or something. I worn it out and I took it off. Okay, yes. I, I'll be going back to his. I didn't win a whole lot. It's, um, But I did get some. I want to go back. Neither did I. And when he pulled this out, um, and look how cute. It's perfect for a little ring, huh? Yeah, I'm on here chatting. Is I'm <laughs> people are dropping off like flies, right? Um. Yeah, I signed. I signed up for Jen and Johnny. Yeah, I signed up for him. Um, on his page, friend requested and messaged and got invited, and it was fun. Um, I didn't get everything I wanted, but I mean, his stuff was going cheaper than what you would think it would be because he had some good stuff on there, but I should get, be going. I'm dying down. I'm done selling. Thank you for coming and supporting me and keeping me company and buying from me as well. I appreciate it. I'm getting invoices done tomorrow, late morning, early afternoon. And I, everything, even what's sitting here, people that didn't buy anything else. If you're here, your stuff will be going out tomorrow. I'm really sorry. It's delayed a little bit. The other people that I'm combining things together, they will go out. Um, uh, yeah, he's really fast. I like it. I will send that out Wednesday, the other stuff after your invoices are paid. Yeah, I like the fast pace of them. Thank you. Thank you, guys. 
He's, I like how fast he moves because I would love to be able to do that type of move like fast like that, but I don't know if I could at this point in my experience. He's a more experienced seller. I know that. I was never on his page, you know, reading about his start and everything. So he's been doing it for a while. Um, yeah, Barbara, thank you. Thank you, Stephen, Emily, everybody. Yeah, I like him. I like his I like his auction style and um he seems nice. I don't know him, but he seems like a nice guy. He had a lot of fabulous jewelry. I wanted the red brooch. I didn't want them all, but I didn't get it. Somebody swept them when they bought one to bid. They they bought. Well, I came in too late. I tried putting a bid in, and I was too late. I left the room. When I came back, they she had already gotten them and she took them all, so I didn't get any. All right, guys. Yes, thank you, guys. Thank you, Barb, very much as usual for helping me. I appreciate it. And I will talk to everybody later. I got to get off of here. I was told I have to jump off quick or else it messes with the yoga. <laughs> Good night.